<laughs> this time we're gonna start with the sound of buzzing flies. <laughs> there we are, right where we left off. The next day at Kujo Mansion. Are we gonna see? Oh! <gasps> Master? The phone's ringing. Gotta answer it. Did we collaborate with Mashta? Hello? This looks like I would be working with a detective, right? It's me, Konoe. Thanks for last night. Did you sleep well? Uh, no. Well, I doubt you slept peacefully given the things we experienced last night. I still find it hard to believe. So why'd you call me? Right, let's cut to the chase. I need your help. A new notice from the depart departed has arrived. So it wasn't fixed just by finding uh, Hanako. That was quick. I'll tell you the details in person. Not now, though. I got an errand I must attend to. I'll be back on the school grounds at 5 p.m. Can you return around that time? Sure. Will it be dark? Is it winter? Is it dark at 5 p.m.? He hangs up the phone. There's still some time left before I'm supposed to meet the headmaster. I retrace what happened last night while drinking some coffee to wake me up. I have tea today, though. <laughs> Just because it would take too long, I was lazy. I was like, tea's much easier. Part of me still can't believe it. I need to organize my thoughts. What should I think about first? Drink coffee. Yeah, drink some coffee first. My eyes settle on the coffee that I brewed up. I ground the important imported beans myself and made some fun adjustments to it. You can say it's one of the finest things I've ever made. Damn, coffee's the best companion you can have when you're contemplating. Dang it, really making me regret here that I didn't make coffee. <laughs> I wrap my fingers around the mug's handle and take a sip of the black liquid. Eases the soul. So bitter. Is that how you like it? Okay, depart it. Last night I was attacked by the departed. Their eerie whispers felt like a bug was burrowing straight into my brain. And their words are still raging in my ears now. This is what they said. God, those faces. On this wonderful day, let us exchange vows with one another. I swear to always stay by your side forever and ever. Oh, it sounds like a wedding vow. Given their letter to me, I have a feeling that a part of may be obsessed with me. To make things worse. Say, my dear. <laughs> Wasn't it bite? Yeah. Can I bite? Kandemoi. Can I bite you? I lost consciousness after that. Do you have a bite mark somewhere in your body that you don't know of yet? When I came to, I was lying face down in the corridor. I looked around and the departed was nowhere to be found. Like the death mark is a bite mark this time. I don't understand what they're thinking, but one thing's for sure. They're using spirits to harm the students. What should I think about next? I guess you should add some sugar. I drop it in my mug and stir it into the coffee with a little spoon. Now drink it. Is that better? Mm hmm. Still too bitter. How do you like your sugar? Uh, I mean, your coffee. <laughs> How do you like your sugar? <laughs> Would you like some coffee with your sugar? Is he, uh, three blocks of sugar kind of still too bitter dude that is so sweet if he still says it's still too bitter I'm stopping I'm cutting you off tastes a bit better <laughs> Hanako the toilet who I met last night must be one such spirit oh the bride from the first game! The grudge of someone who died a violent death will not be calmed even after their death. That powerful grudge will turn them into in an inhuman, supernatural being. A spirit. Spirits resent and kill living beings. I saw it with my own eyes last night. 
The only way to eradicate them is by erasing their grudges. To do that, we first need to investigate the spirit and discover their grudge. What I have to do now is investigate the spirits and terminate them. Four months ago, I was confronted by spirits in a strange incident. I barely managed to survive. It was all thanks to the ma mark bearers who helped me with the investigation. So you're gonna help work with some students? This time? The mark bearers are people I can trust. Oh my god! Oh, I totally forgot the little brother and sister. Mashta, obviously. Mashta's the one I remember the most. And the lady I remember, but vaguely. And the guy was on the dog case, wasn't it? Four months ago, several people had death marks carved onto their bodies, something that was the work of a spirit in H City. And I was among those 13 people. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. The homeless guy in the sewers. The doctor? don't really remember most of them. I think she was in the sewers, too. She was the, the middle... Third from the left is the lady who um, was like a clairvoyant, right? We mark bearers worked together to survive and brought an end to the case. We still keep in touch with each other. We even team up to solve mystery cases from time to time. Ooh, can I choose someone? The person who introduced me to Mr. Konoe was a mark bearer who works as a doctor at the school. Makes me wonder if we weren't really meant to escape our strange fates. Wait, who was it? The pendulum clock in the entrance hall rings. It's almost time for my appointment with the headmaster. Better get ready. I really thought when it showed this like little work corner that Mashta was going to show up. I put all the essential items into my favorite bag. My old notebook and flashlight along with all the other things I found at school yesterday. The key item needed to erase the spirit's grudge usually lies in a haunted place. Attempting to prepare for every possibility is a fool's errand. This should be good enough. Hey, this is familiar. I finish getting ready and head to the garage. Then I get into my favorite minivan. Cute. Wow, big school grounds. Tennis courts. Baseball field, perhaps? Training field? Oh, see that? There's a... Um, can I... Uh, oh yeah, I've point. There's a Shinto shrine gate, a tori in the back. So there must be some holy ground connected to the school building. Might be important. Konoehara Academy. I always almost trip over Konoe, Konoehara. Konoehara. School is built in a place called Konoehara. You <laughs> see, and now I trip over it again. An area situated on top of a hill in the outskirts of H City. Built in the early Showa period, this school is considered a tangible cultural property of H City. Although it's been renovated several times, it still looks pretty much the same inside and out. Konoehara Academy is about 20 minutes from Kujo. Oh, it's close by! Mr. Konoe told me there were no vac vacant spots in the school's parking lot, so my only. But it's nighttime. How are there like zero? There should always be parking spots for guests, right? Like parents and stuff. My only option is to park my car in a parking area near the school and walk. Interesting. School's already letting out by the time I arrive. Students are heading for the exits. They're all looking pretty gloomy though. Is it because of the departed case? I mean, yeah, I'm sure everyone's talking about the death of the little guy. The little guy. <laughs> I walk down the same route as yesterday and once again arrive at the special building. I check the clock hanging in the entrance. There's still some time left before the appointment. I head to the infirmary. Daimon! The guy who introduced me to Mr. Konoi might be in there. Is he? Is she? Who's Daimon again? It's either the guy with the, like hollow cheeks or the lady once i arrived though daimon's not there not just that i can't even find a school nurse if memory serves daimon once told me that it wasn't mandatory for a school to have appointment appointed a nurse i realized that this isn't really my domain but in light of recent events i'm starting to think that policy might be a huge mistake almost time let's go to the faculty room okay 
Uh, that's where I started today, so I'll go over this one. What was back again? Shift. No one to talk to, I suppose. Unless I want to talk to the skelly. There's... This is the special building's entrance. Where are we going? Well, if we we just came from... Ooh... Library... I would say faculty room or student... I would want to talk to the students, actually. If there's anyone here. No one. Ah. Dang it. Faculty, then. Mr. Konoe immediately spots me when I entered the faculty room. He claps his hands together and approaches me. Ah! Gabu Gabu. Ah, you've come, Gabu. Does that mean you're continuing with the investigation? Yeah. You're such a lifesaver. Thank you. Shall we talk about the case? Where should we start? Izumi. I haven't heard anyone making any rumblings about Izumi yet. A missing persons report, report will probably be issued shortly, though I doubt they'll treat it as, as a criminal case. So we still haven't found the body, especially given that his corpse disappeared after he died. Aside from us, the only one who else who knows is Doryo from the student council. Kinokawa as well, apparently. Doryo told her. Is that the blonde girl? Or white hair girl? If I remember correctly, Kinokawa is the white hair girl. <laughs> She said she's a good prin uh, a good friend of Doryo. Please be discreet about this. Consider that an order from your client. New notice. The new notice was found on top of the piano in the music room. Oh, piano again. Take a look. It matches the notice I saw last night. It must truly be the departed's notice. Dear model, Hanako will kill you tonight. I'm watching. Hiding in the school. Hanako again? Your beloved, the departed. Previous victim was the pianist. In other words, Izumi, the piano player. This time the target's been dubbed model. Who could it be? Do you have an idea who this model is? I'm afraid not. Apologies, I'm still new here. I tried asking the teachers as well, but to no avail. So I'll leave the investigation to you. From today onward, I'd like you to start a full-fledged investigation at our school. I want to put an end to this case. Try speaking to the teachers and students. I'm an outsider, though. Is that really okay? I mean, with Konoe's permission, the teachers should come forward, right? That's why I asked my friend at the Board of Education to issue this for me. Ah, he holds a piece of paper. Certificate of Employment, Special Contract Teacher? What? You just hired me? That's a little forward. I feel like he's up to something. Like he wants me to be part of the school. Like like he's gonna sacrifice me or something. My name is written on the bottom part of the paper. Is this some kind of joke? I've taken the liberty of making you a teacher at our school. You'll be able to freely roam the campus this way. In my opinion, this is the most expeditious way to end this case. Is that agreeable to you, Mr. Gabu? You gotta be kidding me. I don't have a choice. I don't have a teaching. I don't have a choice. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> Sudden development has put me at a loss for words. I'd expected that things would get bizarre, but to become a teacher? Weird. There's something about him. He's too eager to get me into the school. I guess that's all I can say about the case. I tried telling my friend on the police force about it, but they didn't believe me. In fact, she just became worried that I hit my head somewhere. You're the only one I can rely on to put an end to this. And how do I know you actually went to the police? Could just be telling me that, just to prevent me from going. Anyway, why don't you get started now? Feel free to explore other places besides the old building. I don't think there are many students remaining, though. It's almost time for last call to leave school grounds, and we've advised them not to stay behind. In light of recent incidents. He must be referring to the first notice. Mysterious notice appeared, a student went missing, even the cops got involved. The school needs to look like it's doing something in response to the situation. Oh right, almost forgot. Please feel free to make use of the infirmary as much as you need. The school nurse has been out with the cold. Ah, Daimon has been managing in her absence. You two are good friends, so I imagine there shouldn't be any problems. Before starting my investigation, I should return to the infirmary to see if Daimon's returned. Sure.
Daimon? <gasps> You're back! Oh, Doryo? Or the other one? Cheerful voice greets me when I come in. Ohayou oh, who are you? Kashiwagi. I. Hello, Mr. Kabu. Mr. Daimon's running an errand, but he'll be here later. He. Ah. Must be Mr. Cheeks then. Uh, wait a second. Sh shoto, matte. Why are you here, I? Wait, we know her? I don't remember, I. <laughs> to help you out, of course. I heard about the departed from Mr. Daimon. Okay, wait. Oh, maybe actually her file will be added after this. Uh, can you tell me more about the case? Sure. Why she's here. Love He is a local idol group in H City. Double He. Now, that's why some of our fans go to this school. Not a lot, though. Not a lot? I guess you're not that famous, then. We're still pretty much an up-and-coming act, but someday we'll be touring the nation. You just wait. Anyway, one of our fans told me about the departed rumors. It got me kind of worried, since they seem to be genuinely scared about it. After that, Mr. Diamond told me about your investigation. Ah, so that's why she's decided to come here, like my personal guardian angel. That's how I has always been. Act first, deal with the consequences later. It's dangerous, though. There are victims in this case already. I know that. Besides, you know all the risks, and you're still investigating, aren't you? I can't just let my friend do it alone. Friend, huh? A genuine compliment for me from an active idol. What an endearing moment. A little too dazzling for me, though. I'm not taking one step out of here, no matter what you say to me. This is Ai Kashiwagi, one of the mark bearers who hunted down spirits with me in the past. She's a member of the idol group Love and Hero. Oh, Dabu Ando Hiro. Dabu Hi. Was that it? Who are mainly active in H City. It does ring a bell. What happened to your idol duties? Just so you know, I'm not slacking off, okay? Today is my day off. Last week was rough, though. We were busy recording our new song. And if you're curious about it, I'd say it's sultry, maybe? I guess it's kind of cheerful and passionate. One thing for sure, it's a banger. <laughs> In all of Love and Heroes' song, they passionately sing about love and justice. Their songs are simple, but they have powerful messages. They seem to be well-liked by some youngsters. I is a passionate young girl who unreservedly lives the lyrics of their songs. Uniform. So she's going to school here. You're not a student here, right? Where'd you get the uniform? I borrowed it from a friend. Oh, she graduated from Konoehara. Well, investigating the case, no one will get suspicious if I'm wearing a uniform. Besides, isn't this uniform adorable? I wanted to wear it. Look, doesn't it suit me? I guess so. You look exactly like a student. You don't stand out at all. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to hear. <laughs> After listening to her story, I give her a detailed recap of the situation. She's experienced the ter terror of facing spirits. She knows the risks. And yet, she still wanted to go after them. There's no stopping her. I understand the situation. So, what's up next for your investigation? Let's see. Our subjects are the departed and Hanako of the toilet. For now, let's focus on Hanako. Now that a new notice has appeared, our main priority is to prevent any more casualties. Let's protect the living. Should have brought shears. Like, just like, cut the hose. First things first, we need to investigate rumors regarding Hanako. If we get a lot of information, we may find a way to placate Hanako's grudge. Spirits disappear once their grudge, res grudge is resolved. I'm really curious about this model Hanako is targeting. I wonder who it is. My guess is white haired girl. She would be a great model. Or Doryo, but... I don't know, the face marking probably in the modeling world would not be hugely popular, would it? Unless she was born with it, then it's way more interesting, but if it's more like a tattoo, then people will be like, mm, maybe not so much in the West, but we need to find that out. Looks like the spirits in this school don't attack indiscriminately. There must be some reason for that. True, we may be able to uncover the spirit's motive if we discover what the reason is. Let's ask around and see what information we can gather about Hanako and the model. Ai, Kashiwagi, joined the investigation. There, character file. I want to check that. Uh, menu. Character file. Hi, Kashiwagi. 
I'll protect everyone. Cheerful, passionate girl with strong sense of justice. She's part of the idol group Love and Hero. Friends with the protagonist since she saved her life. He saved her life during a bizarre case. Despite her frame, she's quite strong and can explore tight spaces with her slender arms. This entry is incomplete. Yeah, I remember this. I remember her looking like this. This is what she looks like in the first game. So she definitely changed a little bit, but she still has the, the ponytails. I think we should go to the student faculty room again. There's probably someone there now. Now that we also have Ai on our side, she might be... They might be more open to talk to her. Student council room. A familiar looking girl is in the student council room. Let's go! Ah, Doryo! Mr. Gabu, right? You're not from this school. What are you still doing here? I'm continuing the investigation of Hanako of the toilet, and it's even more important now considering the events of last night. I want to ask you some questions. And I work here now, by the way. My apologies. I don't want to remember what happened last night. That's not surprising. She went through such a horrific experience and lost one of her friends. Still, there's too much at stake to just drop the subject like that. I'm honestly surprised she's even at school. I would take the day off for sure. Even And even if your mom doesn't allow it, I would skip school. <laughs> She looks tense. She seems to be wary of me. What should I do? Um, tell her I'm a teacher. Yeah, have I try? Yeah. Maybe she'll relax if I get Ai to do the talking. Ai is around her age, after all. Dorio, I'm begging you. Please help Mr. Gabu with his investigation. I should refuse, but... By the way, why are you with him? Do you have permission from your teacher? Huh? Uh... Dojo stares suspiciously at Ai. Looks like I made a mistake. Tell her I'm a teacher. I tell her I've become a teacher in order to continue the investigation. Oh, so you're not an outsider anymore. Sorry, Mr. Gabu. I'll help you out however I can. Looks like Dojo is finally willing to talk. So what do you want to ask me? Uh, let's chat first, see if we can get a topic. There's something I want to confirm. Why were you in the old building last night? I know the headmaster told me to go home, but I was worried about Izumi. I couldn't help it. I tried looking around the new building's second floor, but then I heard a voice scream from the old building. That must have been Izumi yelping when Hanako cut off his hand. So I went to the old building. Once I got there, the hallway was covered with blood. And then the hoses. I screamed, and then I passed out. I guess that explains how she wound up suspended in the air when the headmaster and I found her. It's weird that she was just let go, though. Sorry for making you relive that memory. Like, why would it cut off Izumi's hand, but then for her it was like... She was all tangled up and then it was like, yeah, never mind. Maybe because it already had its victim. Hanako. Looks like I gave you bad information about Hanako. I'm really sorry about that. Last night, Dorio informed me that Hanako was the spirit of a little girl in a red skirt. But it seems that the spirit we're dealing with is a different Hanako. So, about this Hanako girl... There used to be a student named Hanako Akai in the brass band club. Yes, I actually looked into it a bit on my own because I was curious. People have been saying Hanako of the toilet is that Hanako from second year. Because... she committed suicide. Do you have any information about Hanako of the toilet? No, sorry. Horror stories are really scary to me, so this is all I know. Try asking Michiho. She's into this stuff. You mean the girl who came to the infirmary last night? Yes. Kinukawa Michiho. Michi... Michiho. Yeah. Student council vice president. I think she's in the music room now. She went there earlier. You should ask her about Akai too. Okay, thanks. Okay. And more about Akai. Akai was a quiet girl. She might have been depressed over something. It looks like she was bullied. It's meaningless now, but if only I'd noticed earlier, I might have done something to help her out. Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? Maybe try one more chat? That's all I can remember. I'm sorry. Okay. Then that's fine. 
I leave the student council room after hearing what Dorio had to say. Can we go to the music room? Should we drop by the library maybe? I don't think we've been to the library, right? Ooh, pretty. There's no one here. Okay. At least now we saw it. You never know. Uh, I guess it... Oh, hello. I guess we don't have to go into the classroom. Oh, unless there's more students around. I think that kid's class is here. I told you to wait in front of the classroom once club activities are over. Jeez, I just want to go home as soon as possible. I don't want to stay here with all the incidents these days. Yeah, I would not <laughs> hang around. I would probably just ask my mom if we could like take a week off, honestly. No one in here. You never know, there might be- oh, another student. Who the heck are you? You a teacher or something? Don't talk to me. A delinquent girl. I think she has a face mask on her chin. I was like, what is that? Okay, no one in between here? No? Detective Gub Gubu has to be thorough. Okay, nothing. Okay. If I remember correctly, the first notice was posted on this bulletin board. But it disappeared by the time the police started investigating. Someone must have taken it. Mumbling. Mm -hmm. A large bulletin board. I moved the papers around. There's knife damage and some red marks. The first missing person was Ribbon, wasn't it? She was probably killed by Hanako. But we don't know what happened, right? We only got... Um, Yes. Uh, missing person. Notices for students are posted on the bulletin board. Students, please avoid loitering. Head home, students' classes are over. This is all because of these incidents. I'd like to resolve this problem and bring peace back to the school. I guess I shouldn't go into the bathrooms right now, because there might be other students. There she is. A white-haired student is standing there. She's the girl I saw at the infirmary yesterday. Michiho Kinukawa. Oh, you're the old man from yesterday. Are you here to investigate the departed? Or Hanako? Both, actually. <laughs> Dodio told me you're pretty into these sort of things. Ah, she's my kind of girl. I am, yeah. The headmaster asked you to pursue the departed's case, didn't he? That makes you my rival. Rival? You see, I follow all the rumors spreading around this school. I did some investigating on my own about the departed and Hanako. You can say I'm a walking encyclopedia on these topics now. Like scary rumors or suicide three months ago. I want to hear more about that. Mind helping me out with the investigation? Didn't I just tell you that you're my rival? Please, I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Because you saved Hime's life last, n la 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 last night, I'll make an exception this time, alright? But I won't give you anything next time. Gathering info is no easy task, you know. So, what do you want to ask? Let's just chat first. I assume Dorio has already told you how terrifying Hanako is. So why are you still investigating this case? You want to avenge Izumi? Not at all. I hated that guy, you know? I feel bad that he's dead, though. But I only looked for him because he may ask me to. Makes me wonder why you take such a risk then. It's none of your business. Leave me alone. Uh, she must have like a boyfriend, girlfriend, or family member. Something happened to them. Um, and that gave her like this crazy obsession with the supernatural to try and find a connection. Maybe. Hanako of the toilet is a spirit that appears in the girls' restroom in the old building. Except for Hime, everyone basically knows the rumors surrounding Hanako. Ooh, story time. Chapter 2, baby! <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff scribbled on the wall in the restroom lately. You don't know? It's a ritual to summon spirits. Ah, there's that image again. So good. People have been saying a spirit will appear if you write on the wall in the restroom. Some students then tried that for fun. They don't believe in spirits or anything, they just did it for the thrill. 
is playing games. That includes her, too. She wanted to scribble some stuff on the empty restroom in the old building. Why? That's so specific. She wrote some things on the wall using a marker. Except she didn't believe in ghosts. She did all that while thinking, there's no way a spirit exists. But she got interrupted, right? Dropped the marker. But then, she heard the sound of a toilet being flushed in the empty stall next to her. There shouldn't be anyone else here. How could that be? She had a bad feeling and she decided to run. But... She was more curious about that stall. So she opened the door and looked inside. It was empty. There she found a girl in a red skirt hanging from the ceiling with a hose around her neck. Give it back. Ah, so she found Hanako's body. She screamed and ran. But you know what happened after that? Even after she left school and got home, that voice was still ringing in her ears. <laughs> and in the end, the next day that the Pardis notice arrived and she disappeared. Everyone saying she died and her corpse was never found. And that she was killed by Hanako. That's the rumor about Hanako. Pretty scary, isn't it? I see. I repeat the rumor in my head. Give it back, huh? What in the world is Hanako searching for? It may be tied to her grudge. Yeah, she was being bullied, right? So they might have like stolen something very dear to her as like type a type of bullying. Okay. So wait, Toira no Hanako is saying give it back, but then there's also Hanako Akai, the actual girl, so what's her story? Three months ago, Akai committed suicide in the girl's restroom in the old building. She hanged herself with a rubber hose. That's definitely the one we saw. The female restroom in the old building. Suicide with a rubber hose. That lines up with Hanako of the toilet. I guess Hanako Akai really is that spirit. Akai used to be a member of the brass band club. Maybe the club's members know something. You didn't give me any new information, really, about Akai. Where are they? I don't see them. I heard they've been rehearsing late into the night since they've got a concert coming up soon. I think club activities are done for the day, but some of them might still be hanging around. Why don't you try looking for them? Hmm. Do you really have time to make small talk with me? The headmaster is not going to be happy with you if you don't make any progress. Dang, so stern with me. Oh, I can go here now. Cool. Uh, some instrument cases are placed on the shelf. When I take a few steps closer, I smell something moldy. <gasps> the red mold. A glass door cabinet. Inside are a bunch of music books. Next to the books is a key box. It must be used to hold keys for instrument cases. If you say so. Where's that mold though? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, there's nothing else to look at, so maybe... Oh, mm -hmm. no mold for now. On the shelf are music textbooks and sheet, sheet music. Are, they s are these specialized books? I can't tell what they are just by looking at the titles. There are various large percussion instruments here, such as a timpani, xylophone, and bass, bass drum. When you see these instruments, don't you just want to hit them with all your might? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. There's a black grand piano. I'm good at piano. Played it during one of my shows before. Everyone was thrilled. Okay. So, where would band members be? I don't sense anyone's presence. I have no business in the corridor. Okay. So maybe second floor then? Can we go up? <gasps> we can! Interesting. So what do we have here? 
It's locked. The door won't open. Second floor's corridor should be just ahead. There's a crumpled paper in the gap between the doors. Warning. Second floor corridor off limits. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't think I should check the toilets. Huh? Their class should be here. I literally rushed over here. Where are they going? Are they in the restroom? Nah, I don't think they're in the restroom. Not with all the Hanako rumors. Whenever I think about Hanako, I get goosebumps all over. I really hate spirits. I want to go home. Hmm. Oh, the curtains aren't drawn. Yeah. To block out the sun? Seems a bit weird. The curtains aren't giving off eerie vibes or anything. It's not something to be concerned about. Oh, I would definitely open it. It would bother me. It does bother me. Hello, looking for brass band members. I tried to call her, but get ignored. Where does this door go to? I find a door leading to the emergency exit. Shouldn't use the door unless there's actually an emergency. Okay, well, nothing here. So let's go another floor up, I guess. And we're just waiting on the toilets. That's the last resort. Oh, you look angry, dude. We have to finish patrolling the vicinity before school is over. Ever since all the commotion about the departed started, I feel a chill after school. I just feel like someone's watching me. Well, being on disciplinary committee isn't easy. <laughs> Three, eight. yoo -hoo. Oh, who are you? Suspicious man. Everyone in this school is mentally unstable. They're all terrified of the departed. I thought I heard something. Still, the sunny spot in this classroom, the one near the window, is special because you can indulge yourself and lounge around reading until school's over. You don't need to worry about me anymore. These students are weird. Hey, another curtain hmm. drawn. Do you think it's a code? Oh, I, I don't know, but... It might be a code. Like, how many windows are there? One, two, three, four. So one of four. <laughs> oh, a twirl. Okay, class 3B, one of four. I'm gonna write it like that. And there was one on the second floor, but I forget which room that is. So I'm gonna wait with that. Three C. Oh, students. Hello. I don't mind showing up for club activity after so long, but the vibes have been so bad lately. I know, right? I doubt we got any chance of winning this year's competition. All because of that incident. You mean the thing with Akai? Are you brass band club members? Huh? Oh, yeah. I was only there until this summer, though. I already quit. I'm a new teacher. The headmaster asked me to look into Hanako Akai. Can you tell me more about her? Are they still investigating that case? Man, enough already. Have you already been questioned? Well, yeah, last summer. She killed herself because of the bullying, didn't she? Is that so? There's no reason to deny it. I heard rumors of her getting bullied all the time. The various bits of graffiti I saw in the restroom last night were all insults aimed at her. My guess was right. She was being bullied. Okay. No one. Except Brawny Dude. I'm gonna... Oh, there's no higher up. Yeah. So third floor is the top. This one was locked, right? No connecting corridor? No. Okay. Let's go back down to two. And see where that curtain was. 2A. 2A. Third window of four. I didn't notice any other windows, but I haven't been into the, th the first floor classrooms. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, this could be a whole pile of nothing, and I'm just seeing patterns where there aren't any. But we are looking for students too, so might as well do a run through of the classes. Or did I? No, I don't think so. These are new, right? Man, I'm freaking exhausted. Is it just me or was Brass Band Club the last one to finish practice today? Well, we got no choice. The concert's almost here. Are you from the Brass Band Club? I'm a new teacher. Headmaster asked me to look into Hanako Akai. Can you tell me more about her? Why are you asking about Akai now? Did they relaunch an investigation into her suicide? No harm in letting them fill in the blanks incorrectly. It's not like telling them the truth would help them anyway. Akai was quiet, but she was gentle and kind, and she loved playing piano. Whenever we sing this school song, we always have a student representative play the piano. That used to be her job. She was overjoyed when we got, she got the news. Until Toshihiko Izumi replaced her, right? <gasps> oh, that's very important information. It was written on that poster, but now thinking about it more. I think it happened just before she died. Oh, does that mean she killed herself over that? Losing her position, yeah. The one thing that probably was still good in her life. That's a pretty solid job of gathering information so far. We managed to get some very useful info from Doryo, Kinukawa, and the Brass Band Club members. Where should we go next? Say, Mr. Gabu, this may sound random, but how about we check out the shoe lockers on the first floor? Why? Because school's over. Bet there's quite a few students who are about to head home now, so there should be some people there. Smart. Let's go to shoe lockers. Sure. Did I run by it? I think so. Yeah. This is the main entrance of the new building. The school gate is right ahead. Shoe lockers for students are placed near the entrance. Over there. Two students are chatting quietly. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gabu, did you hear? They said Hanako. They might be talking about Akai. Shall we go ask them? Hold on a sec. Let's lay low for a bit. They may stop talking if they notice us. You make a good point. Should we eavesdrop? They're too occupied by their conversation to notice us. We may be able to eavesdrop on their chat if we do it right. Oh, is this a challenge? Here we go. I need to get closer to the students if I want to listen to their conversation. How do I listen in without making them wary of me? I would send I in. The character and execution rate. Right, so people explained it to me. It's kind of like rolling the dice in D&D, so it could be the right choice, but you also always have like a chance to fail, so... Um, yeah, and if it... It won't say... It'll just say success or failure, and if it says failure, it might still be the right choice. It was a little confusing for me last episode. The execution rate may change depending on the character you choose to perform the action. This is why... This is because Gabo and his allies have different strengths and weaknesses. Choose a character with a high execution rate if you want a better chance to succeed. Note that in wrong situations, you can't succeed if you choose the wrong character, even if they are able to perform the action. Okay. Strike, a, strike up a conversation. Approach naturally. Read their lips. Approach naturally. Yeah. I'll try to casually approach the girls. She's wearing the uniform, so... And it's 92%! Okay. Great. I manages to casually approach them. It's time for the students to leave school. Maybe they'll be more amicable. Looks like this is the right choice. Ike is keeping an ear open to overhear the girls' conversation. How can I get Ai to move over to the shoe lockers in a nonchalant way? Uh, pretend to wait for a friend whistle. Pretend to wait, for sure. Ai nods after seeing my sign. 
<laughs> Go. Loiter. Nice. I'm always late again, huh? Guess I have to wait here for a while. The girls don't seem to be wary of Ice Act. Maybe now we can listen to their conversation without worrying. The right choice. Hell yeah. Things are turning around for me. Survived. I didn't die in the social interaction. It's me at parties. I didn't die. <laughs> Students finish chatting and leave the area. Okay, I fill me in. I totally eavesdropped. I immediately reports what she heard. The students were talking about Hanako Akai's best friend. The friend is Naomi Horikoshi. Horikoshi seems to be crazy popular. Both her grades and athleticism are top notch. She used to be bright and cheerful. Used to. So she is now? Uh huh. She's not doing so well after Akai's suicide. The two students talking now were worried about her. They tried to talk to her, but she got mad. I think they were talking about that. Can't blame her. Her best friend died. Did you get anything else? Hmm, let's see. Horiko, she's working as a magazine model. There it is! She's hiding it from school. Model? Could it be? Hmm. I looks confused. I guess she'd completely forgotten. I was referring to this. Take out the departed's notice from my bag. Hanako will kill you tonight, dear model. I'm watching, hiding. Oh my god, you're right! That means Hanako's target is... Horikoshi. We have to find Naomi Horikoshi. Agreed. Her class is 2B. Let's get there. 2B. Oh, is it this girl? Are you Horikoshi? Do you know Naomi Horikoshi? Nani yo? Nani yo? The hell? I am Horikoshi. Who are you, old man? I'm a new teacher. I quickly introduce myself. I'm a new teacher. <laughs> gabu gabu. Oh, really? You're a teacher? What do you want with me? Make it quick. Her voice is just radiating with annoyance. Maybe she hates talking to people. Just skip the small talk and get to the point already. Hurry up. Okay, well, Hanako Kai. You're really asking me about Hanako? You're the worst, so insensitive. You just said, get to the point. I need your cooperations on this investigation, please. I don't know a thing. Remembering Hanako only hurts me. Why don't you try being more considerate of your students' feelings? Sorry? What about Hanako with the toilet? Oh, come on, not this stupid rumor. So you know about the departed's notice. We received a new notice today. Hanako's next target is a model. What? And I've heard you're doing modeling work. So what? Are you warning me to be careful so I don't get killed by the ghost of Hanako? To think a grown-ass adult believes in ghosts. What a fool. Can we be done with this already? I got an errand to run. Excuse me. Let her go for now. Maybe follow her at a distance, see if she leaves school grounds. If she leaves the school, then we're fine, right? Um, maybe we should head back to the infirmary and discuss. Mr. Gabu, Mr. Gabu. Mr. Diamond's waiting for you in the infirmary. Oh, Mr. Diamond's here. I really want to get information from Horikoshi, but maybe we should return to the infirmary for now. Uh, wasn't there... Yeah, a button to go straight to it. When we arrive at the infirmary, a skinny man in white coat is waiting inside. There he is! How you doing? Suzy Daimo. Welcome back, Gabu. Mr. Konoe told me you've become a temporary teacher here. You're finally here, Daimon. Mm-hmm. Just got back now. Hello, Kashiwagi. That uniform suits you. Hee <laughs> Thank you! Alright, let's get down to work. How about we exchange information first? His name is Shuji Daimon. One of them bark bears. He's a doctor who runs a clinic in H City and he's the school doctor at Konohe. Konohehara. How you been? I was feeling better for a while, but it's getting worse again lately. Some nights I'm coughing so badly I can't even get to sleep. I should get a checkup. I'm considering it, actually. My clinic is understaffed, you see. I can't afford to take a day off. I can't even practice what I've told my patients. How ironic. 
Anyway, sorry for asking you to investigate this case so suddenly. When I told Mr. Konoe about the spirit doctor, he insisted that I introduce him to you. Don't call me that. That magazine just gave me that nickname without consulting me. Spirit doctor. The editor-in-chief of a certain occult magazine labeled me with that nickname without permission. According to that... Ooh... How do you... Ooh parts? O-O-P arts? Article? Spirit Dr. Gabu Gabu is an expert in spirit investigation. I'm not that great at this. If I were, then nobody would have died yesterday. I get why you're frustrated, but don't get down on yourself. You truly do have the skills. If you didn't, I wouldn't have introduced you to Mr. Konoi. Does he know anything about I? Oh, why did he bring I into it? That's my fault. Apologies for that. I just blurted it out when Kashiwagi mentioned The Departed. I'm not the only one who knows about it, though. Sho and Moe know, too. They told me they're gonna help you out. Both Sho and Moe are also mark bearers I'm acquainted with. Looks like the group's been keeping in touch without me knowing. Goodness. My tada. I share all the information I've gathered so far with Daimon. Hmm. Naomi Horikoshi may be our key to discovering Hanako's grudge. I think so too. They used to be good friends. And Horikoshi may be the model mentioned in the notice. I want to protect her. Also, regarding Akai's suicide, maybe you should try asking Mrs. Sakamoto? Who's that? Does she have anything to do with the case? Actually, the teachers here were running an investigation after the incident. Miss Sakamoto was the person in charge. I see that she should have some relevant information about the bullying, too. Let me join the investigation. We're going to stand out pretty badly if the three of us walk around the school together. Mr. Konoe won't like that. Then either me or Mr. Diamond should stay behind. Please decide which one of us you're going to bring with you. Ah. <sighs> Well, I, I want to bring Daimon with me for a bit. When several people are willing to, willing to accompany you, you can change your party member using the change option. Oh, so they have different insights. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Uh -huh. Yes, there we go. Maybe we should go to the faculty room, see if Miss Sakamoto is there. When I enter the faculty room, I ask if the teacher nearby can call Sakamoto. No. Oh, hello. Are you Mr. Gabu? Mr. Kono, I told me about you. Bitsu. My name is Bitsu Sakamoto. I'm the curriculum coordinator at this school. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hajimemashite. I'd like to cut to the chase. Before that, I have something important to tell you. Konoehara Academy is a prestigious high school with 70 years of history. I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Yeah. Our teachers are responsible for guiding the next generation while preserving that history. And thus, as a teacher here, you will have to understand our regulations. Sakamoto begins to scold me. If I listen to her entire spiel, the sun will set. What should I do? Uh... Daimon step in? Daimon nods when I give him the signal. Miss Sakamoto, you're one excellent teacher. I even heard Mr. Konoe praise you highly. Why are you suddenly bringing that up? I feel bad that someone as skilled as you would have to use your valuable time training a new teacher. Allow me to train him. However, providing a summary of the case is something that only you can do. Would you mind sharing what you learned? Hell yeah, Daimon, so smooth. You're not wrong. My hands are already full with all the tasks I have. I'll leave this training to you then. Sakamoto's finally willing to listen. Mr. Konoe said you're looking into the departed's notices. That's correct, but I'm focusing on Hanako of the toilet at the moment. What's the difference? They're both ridiculous rumors. I don't think I even have inf any information I can share with you on that matter anyway. With the commotion surrounding the notices and the missing kids, many students have been feeling anxious. If we don't show them we're doing something about it, these rumors may reach outsiders' ears, which would sully the school's reputation. So you want me to solve this discreet discreetly? Precisely. Well then, I expect that you will retain your priority and discretion on discretion while you are performing your investigation. 
Okay, how to go to the toilet. Every school has its own seven mysteries and ghost stories. Seven mysteries? Well, that in and, in and of itself is not something to be upset about. I find it incredibly rude that a student who has recently passed is now a subject of such stories. That is kind of rude, yeah. Hanako Akai. Akai was a rather quiet, inconspicuous student. Mm. But when she played the piano, she was dazzling. She even wanted to pursue a career in the music industry one day. What a pity. I heard you looked into a Hanako Akai suicide. I'd like to know more about that. What made her kill herself? Relationship troubles, that's what it said in the reports. That's rather vague. What if Izumi asked her to like... Oh, she has a little bunny necklace. That's a little suspicious considering the first game. What if Izumi kind of like got close to her to get her to teach him piano to get better and then took the part away from her? That's rather vague. Please tell me the truth. Was it because of bullying? Don't make me repeat myself. It was because of relationship troubles. Miss Sakamoto. However, if I were to personally speculate what her real problem was, it would be bullying. As a proud member of the school staff, Sakamoto doesn't want the bullying angle to go public. Phrasing it as she did could be seen as a concession. Maybe now she'll start to open up a bit. Akai hanged herself in the female restroom on the old building's third floor. Third floor? Not the first? Yes, the third floor. Last night I encountered Hanako in the first floor's restroom. I'd assumed that was where the she committed suicide. When we found her body, she was wearing a red skirt with suspenders, like the ones grade schoolers wear. Like the original Hanako of the toilet. How could that be? I doubt she chose to wear the outfit herself. Do you think because of her name she got bullied and then had to... Maybe she got forced to wear the outfit by other someone else? In other words, someone forced her to put on the outfit. Sakamoto had gently nudged me toward what she considered to be proof of the bullying. Horikoshi was her best friend, supposedly. I learned some strange things related to her after Akai's suicide. So you see, I reached out to some students about the case. Horikoshi was basically Akai's best friend. She knew Akai was getting bullied, but she turned a blind eye to it. She didn't stop the bullies. Or so I heard. No idea if it's true or not. Okay. You're permitted to conduct the investigation within school grounds, but don't do anything that will draw undue attention. I leave the faculty room after talking with Sakamoto. We managed to get important information from Miss Sakamoto, even, it, even if it was all distressing. Indeed. However, all that information must be related to the spirit's grudges. No matter how much we hate hearing those stories, we have no choice but to keep digging. I understand that much. Now that I think about it, we've collected a lot of information since we talked to Doryo and Kinukawa. Maybe I should try speaking to them again. I bet they're still here at school. Let's look around for them. And we should go to the third floor of the other building. Kinokawa is hanging out in the student council room. Seems like she's not busy. <laughs> why did she, why she do that with her sleep? Oh, hello, four-eyed geezer. Uh, I mean, Mr. Gabu. I heard from Hime you're a teacher here now. There's something I'd like to ask you, Kinokawa. Nope, my lips are zipped. I'm not gonna give any more information to my rival. But maybe I'll reconsider if you show me your sincerity. Kinokawa looks at me, eyes full of expectations. I can't ask Daimon for help when she's specifically pointing to me. What should I do? Huh, sincerity? Kneel, compliment her looks, or give her money? Those all seem like really bad options. Oh god, accessories, outfit, hair color. I would say the earrings, because I have been looking at the butterfly earrings. I utter a series of flattering words to compliment her earrings and pins. Are you even trying? Kimiko was rolling her eyes. Looks like this was a waste of time. Hmm. 
kneel down. <laughs> I drop down onto the floor and kneel in front of Kinukawa. Yikes, what a turn off. Don't you have any pride? Kinukawa's repulsed. That didn't go well. <laughs> I don't want to give her money. That's just like I'm buying her off. Last option, hair color. A woman's hair is her soul, as the old saying goes. I'll try complimenting her hair color. It suits you perfectly. What? For real? Looking really surprised. So that's how my hair looks to you. She has a satisfied smile on her face. She must be really proud of her hair color to feel that pleased by my compliment. A little too pleased, if I'm being honest. Thank you. I can see your sincerity. Well, whatever the case, it works. She's willing to listen. So what do you want to ask? Let's chat first. She stares intently at me. Uh, you're making me nervous? Tall and slender figure, with an intellectual and calm face. You look like an annex parthenope, somehow. A what now? A dragonfly, right? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Oh, it's the highest form of compliment. Because I like bugs! Now that she mentioned it, all of her exer- Oh yeah, all of her accessories are bugs. The girl's got some interesting hobbies. Okay, uh, let's talk about Horikoshi first. That's important. Horikoshi is popular. It's, it only costs Akai to be judged even more harshly. What do you mean? I feel bad for saying this, but Akai was plain. Imagine how Horikoshi's fans might react to that. I guess some of them thought she was good enough to be hanging out with her. Even though they got along? Well, that's true. Horikoshi had always protected Akai. She's not the type to give in to pressure. But things changed between them at some point. You mean before she committed suicide? Mm-hmm. Rumors said they had a falling out. Horikoshi seemed to be avoiding Akai. Three months ago, Akai committed suicide in the girls' restroom in the old building. She hanged herself with a rubber hose. No new information there. Spirit... Everyone basically knows the rumors surrounding Hanako. The bullying. It seemed like Akai was bullied pretty bad. You remember those scribbles you saw in the restroom? They're based on her actual bullying. Her bullies wrote insulting things about her on the wall to the old building's restroom. Well, that's everything. I'm showing you my sincerity since you showed me yours. Michiho Kinukawa will cooperate with your investigation. Oh, well, that's all we got though. Have you seen Doryo around? By the way, Mr. Gabu, there's something I've been curious about. The girl who was with you earlier looked like Ai Kashiwagi from Love Dabuhi. She doesn't just look like her, she's the real deal. You're kidding! It's my first time seeing a celebrity. What's your relationship with Ai, Mr. Gabu? She's my assistant. She's a friend I can rely on. Her youth is definitely something you can rely on. Having good stamina is crucial for spirit investigations, which is something I'm lacking. <laughs> Ai is fit, true. She can sing loudly while jumping around the stage. I watch her on TV. But to think you'd ask an actual idol to help out with your investigation. How fearless. Her fans will hate you. <laughs> Kashiwagi was the one who offered her help. He didn't do anything wrong. Wow, you're so popular. Bet I was also moved by your sincerity. Kinokawa looks at me and smirks. The conversation started to go in a strange direction. Time to put an end to this. I leave the student council room after talking with Kinokawa. But if she's there, then where is Doryo? She wasn't in the infirmary. Sakamoto was in the faculty room. Library. No one here. Then let's check the building. It's so cool to see him with us. <laughs> Was she here? Oh, Doryo! Hello, Mr. Gabu. How's the investigation going? I saw Horikoshi entering the music room just now. I wonder what business she has there. She's not in the brass band club. Ooh, thank you. Uh, let's ask her about Horikoshi. I used to be in the same class with her and Horikoshi during our first year. They got along well back then. 
During lunch break, Horikoshi would always go to the music room to hear Akai play piano. Hmm. Okay. Music room. Let's see why she's in here. There's no one in the music room. She might be in the back. Didn't Doryo say Horikoshi entered this room? That's odd. Why don't we investigate this place for a sec? The mole is here. Horikoshi is desperately rummaging through the cabinet. She seems to be frantically searching for something. <gasps> Aren't you... Did you follow me here? So you're basically creepy stalkers. Aren't you depraved? Horikoshi, there's something... Shut up! I got nothing to tell you. She's feisty. Act 1. Fight! Horikoshi's hostility towards us is obvious. We need to do something to clear the misunderstanding. How can we actually start a conversation with her? She probably knows Daimon better, right? There isn't any suspensive act that requires you to be accompanied by a specific character. Okay. However, the character's strength and weaknesses may affect the ex execution rate. Yeah. Execution rate, weighing infirmary can be seen through the character selection area. It's better to check which character has the better execution rate before deciding who should accompany you. Oh, I stand by, team up with I. Oh, so we can switch them on the fly as well. Uh, let's just try it. Showing, ask if she lost anything. These are not great odds. Let's see if I has better. Ooh, she has way better odds. Okay, so I can switch them on the go. My odds are not great either. Fifty four. 57 66 やってみるか? ]承知した. Help me out, Daimon. Yeah, okay. 66%? Okay. Horikoshi, did you lose something? Yeah, you must have lost something. Lost what? Not sure if it's yours, but someone handed me a handkerchief they said was lost. This one. What? What kind of handkerchief? It's the one we found in the other building, right? In the toilets? She seems to be showing interest. Maybe now that she's a bit calmer, we can finally talk. Hey, right choice. Is that handkerchief really mine? I don't know, is it? Horikoshi seems to be suspicious of us. What should we tell her? Um, it was a clean handkerchief, strong smell, embroidered with NH. Was it? Oh yeah. Oh, NH. I didn't, I totally forgot. Has to be hers then. Uh, let's see, sixty-seven percent for Diamond. What about me? Sixty-four. So let's try Diamond. Shortest. Okay, I'll give it a try, Gabu. S almost 70%. Oh, come on. The last handkerchief is some embroidery. If I'm not mistaken, they were the initials M&M. &M. <laughs> like the snack? Oh, come on. Let's try it again. Maybe now the rate is higher. Uh, 87. Ha that has to be a success. Ugh. Okay. Listen to this, Horikoshi. The lost handkerchief has some embroidery on it. 
If I'm not mistaken, it reads NH. Huh? That's my handkerchief. Thank goodness, so that handkerchief really is yours, huh? Yeah, I've been searching all over the place for it. Why do you have it? Can you tell me something about it? It'll be brief, if you don't mind. If it won't take too long, then fine. Ooh, she's coming down. Survived. <sighs> Our conversation didn't kill us. <laughs> so what do you want to ask me? She's still wary. We need to tread carefully. Um, hmm, this doesn't really fit. Let's just chat first. What are you doing here? You seem to be looking for something. I don't think she's gonna answer at all. Okay. Toilet? I know about the rumors. Hanako will come if you scribble something on the old building's restroom wall, right? It's a bunch of crap. Nothing showed up. So you gave it a try? <laughs> Why do you go she covers her mouth, realizes, li realizing she slipped? <gasps> I said that. I was desperate. I really wanted to see Hanako, even if it was her ghost. Why would you take a risk like that? Because there's something I want to tell her. If I'm able to do it, I wouldn't mind being killed by her. What? Don't be foolish. Guess I sound like a fool to you. By the way, I immediately erased it. What I erased what I wrote with the handkerchief, but there was still stuff written on the wall. You mean the whole "you suck at piano," right? I know that. I didn't write that. Someone else did. I wanted to erase it, but the ink was already dry. I could only erase the Hanako part. That explains why I could barely read the name on the wall. Maybe the smudges on the graffiti in the new building were also Horikoshi's doing. Anyway, can you give it back to me? Oh. Sure. Hmm. Hanako's bullying? Do you not want to know who bullied Hanako? I'll tell you. It was that bastard Izumi and his female lackey, Hanako's fellow, fellow brass band club members. Toshiko, Toshihiko Izumi? Yeah, him. He didn't show up today, though. Why did he bully her? It all started when the school held an audition to pick a representative to play the school song at the recital. Hanako and Izumi were both candidates for it, but she was the one chosen in the end. She was the obvious choice. She loved piano so much and she spent every day practicing. But Izumi's fragile ego couldn't accept that. So he bullied Hanako because he was upset that she won the competition. You got it. They bullied her in the girls' restroom in the old building so that the teachers wouldn't find out. They wrote insulting things about her and forced her to drink milk. Hanako couldn't take it anymore, so she gave up the position. Or to drink milk, did I read that right? That's cruel. It was, and it was only the beginning. He continued bullying her even after she gave up her position. His ego must have been so trashed because she was better than him. And in the end, Hanako committed suicide. At least it seems like they've been punished for their actions. Come again? Didn't his underling go missing? If I'm not mistaken, rumors said she was killed by Hanako, right? Ribbon? Yeah, the thing from the departed's notice. If I remember correctly, that little beach always were flashy, flashy red ribbons. I see. Ribbon was the first victim, followed by pianist. Seems like a pretty solid correlation. Both of them had something to do with Hanako's bullying. The next target is Model, aka the one in front of me, Naomi Horikoshi. She's Hanako's best friend though. Did she bully her too? She's probably being blamed for not doing anything. Her anger towards Izumi doesn't seem like an act. I doubt she was one of Hanako's bullies. Why is Hanako targeting her then? I met Hanako during our first year. She was quiet and adorable. She was very girly, unlike me. How did you become close? It wasn't something special. She really hated milk, you see. Some dumbasses knew about it and tried forcing her to drink it for fun. So I drank it in her stead. Hanako is really grateful, and ever since then, we started hanging out a lot. How nice of you. Ah, I don't need your compliment. Okay. Mm, skip. Okay. Did I ask her everything? Student number 24, class 2B, favorite subject, English. 
Needs to improve history. My hobbies, shopping and karaoke. What else? Birthday, blood type, three sizes? He looks so dumb. <laughs> okay, that was that. Let's stop here. Can I go now? No, I haven't finished yet. I'm sure you remember what I told you earlier. Hanako's next target is model. More directly, you. So what? I want to protect you. Nope, I'm good. Don't you understand? Your life's at risk. What? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't need your protection. Just thinking about an old man protecting me is making me feel squicky. Squicky? I'm leaving. Move. Ugh. She elbowed him. Horikoshi shoves Daimon aside and rushes out the storage room. Are you alright, Daimon? Yeah. <coughs> Not injured, luckily. My heart rate spiked, though. Thank goodness. Might be too late to chase her down. Horikoshi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Switch page. We learned from students that the model is Horikoshi. They were friends. He committed suicide. Hanako was severely bullied by Izumi. Izumi's death should have given her the revenge she desired, so why is, she, why is Horikoshi now her target? I think she didn't do anything. Looks like there's still a secret between Horikoshi and Hanako that we need to uncover. Okay. Should we check out that mold again? Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something behind this. Oh, she was rummaging through this? Inside I find an open key box among some music books. There's a row of keys inside the box. Most of them seem to be keys for instrument cases. However, there's a key missing. I have no way of knowing what it was for. Did Horikoshi take it with her? Can we follow her discreetly? The school will be closing shortly. All students, please promptly vacate the school grounds for today. Oh, time's passed already. Gabo, let's return to the infirmary. We need to prepare for the investigation tonight. Let's do it. Now that school's closed, the building will empty out soon. But our investigation will only truly begin at night. I should reconvene with the member I left behind and start getting ready for tonight. Uh, should we fill her in? Welcome back, Mr. Gabu. Sun's already set, huh? Spirits appear to ha once the sun sets. First, I'd like to organize all the information we've gathered before we get going tonight. I like that idea. First things first. Oh. Dorio. Mister, are you in here? Is it the other one? Oh, hey! Moi? A young girl in a sailor uniform enters the infirmary. Yaha! Moi Watanabe. Hey, oh, I've come to help. Goodness, you too, Moi? <laughs> I told me everything. I'm an occult writer, so there's no way I'd just let this case pass me by. Moi Watanabe, a mark bearer and student who attends different school. A fan of occult things, she's also been working as an editor for an occult magazine. Our, edi our editor in chief is also looking forward to the Spirit Doctor's new mission. How many times have I told you? Can it with the nickname? Oh, boo, don't be so mad about it. The chief and I came up with that name. Anyways, how's the departed investigation going? I shared the information I've gotten with the three mark bearers. Oh, look at that, cute. Is Ana Hanako Akai really Hanako of the toilet? No doubt about it in my mind. She was bullied pretty badly. Her bullying took place in the old building's restroom. She got insulted through graffiti, was made to drink milk that she hated, and then forced to wear the original Hanako's outfit. In the end, she killed herself while holding a massive amount of resentment. The ones who antagonized her were Toshihiko Izumi and his tag-along. They were both members of the brass band club. They started bullying her because Izumi didn't get selected to perform the school's song on piano. My god, they're the worst. And that Izumi kid was bullied by Hanako last night. So she wants to get vengeance for being bullied into suicide? Probably. Her previous target, Ribbon, was involved in the bullying too. Right up to here, 
right up to here everything makes sense. But I don't understand why model, Hojikoshi, is now being targeted. They were supposed to be best friends. There's a rumor that Horikoshi didn't stop the bullies despite knowing what they were doing. Something must have happened between them. Oh right, they had a falling out. Um, didn't the rumor also say Hanako keeps repeating the phrase give it back? Hanako must be searching for something. Yeah, that. We still have no clue what it is. While we can summarize the case pretty easily, quite a few mysteries still linger. Should we fail to solve the mystery and cleanse her of her resentment, Horikoshi will die. I wonder if Horikoshi will join us, if you help her out properly. Understood. Thank you. Daimon finishes talking and hangs up the phone. Bad news, Gabu. I just asked Horikoshi's homeroom teacher to check if she made it home safely. Looks like she hasn't returned. I mean, she took off with a key, so she's maybe in the other building? What the hell? Where is she now? No way. Did she go to the old building? Why the old building? Do you have an idea, mister? Why would Horikoshi head to the old building? Meet Hanako, for sure. She said she wanted to s tell her something. There's something I want to tell her. <laughs> if I'm able to do that, I wouldn't mind being killed by her. That's right. If she believes the notice is telling the truth, she probably sees this as a chance to meet Hanako. Oh my goodness! In a normal situation, telling Horikoshi Hanako is targeting model would be taken as a warning. But in this case, that might have backfired. We need to hurry. Wait a minute, mister! As much as I want to investigate with you, my boss warned me to be careful since it's so dangerous. Because of that, I've decided to support you in a different way. How so? You see, Mrs. Yasuoka's entrusted me with handling sacred objects. You can use these things in your investigation. Sacred objects? You know, sacred objects are items that are filled with spiritual energy. Just by having them with you, you'll have better luck. You'll be protected from all kinds of misfortune and harm. But before you can use them, you need to collect items that have spiritual power. Mrs. Yasuoka said those items are called lost souls. And where can I find them? Cursed places or spots that aren't spiritually stable. Spiritually unstable spots, huh? Maybe I can find some around this school. This place is basically cursed by the departed, which makes it pretty spiritually unstable. Bring any lost souls here if you find them. I'll use them to charge whatever sacred objects you need. Hmm. Okay, can be found by exploring the school. Sacred objects can be obtained through the trade option in the infirmary. Okay, lost souls have the ability to increase your spiritual state. My spiritual what? This is also something that I learned from Mrs. Yas Yasuoka. Humans have spiritual states. Your spiritual state will grow if you come in contact with these lost souls. Mrs. Yasuoka said that your body might have that characteristic. Leveling up! Gabu and other spiritual status can level up uh, after you've obtained a certain amount of souls. By leveling up, your maximum spirit increases. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so if we collect souls, we get stronger. Try to inspect as many likely areas as possible and find those lost souls. So, the bathrooms and that hallway where we got bitten. Leveling up and acquiring lost souls will help you out during investigation. Gather lost souls while it's work. Gotcha. So, she's gonna stay behind. Trade. A certain number of lost souls are required to uh, reduce damage or gain advantage. Uh, checking your spirits. Zero. Number of lost souls left in this chapter? Eight. Okay, that's very good to know. So there's eight souls we're supposed to find. Um, let's give the chronically ill doctor a rest and go with the cheerful idol. Save. Now let's go soul hunting. Convenient move. Other options beside the new building are now available to choose when leaving the special building. This will help you move to the connecting corridor more conveniently. 
do not do, do take note that there are times when you won't be able to use this feature. Okay. Let's do the connecting corridor first. Uh are those that looks like a teeth icon though, the lost soul thing. I hear squelching. Mm. What's wrong, Mr. Gabu? You didn't hear that? The sound of a bell. No, nothing. Maybe because you got bitten? What in the... Did she hear it suddenly? What I see is... is... <gasps> it's back! Something standing there. Thin body, disproportionately large head, inordinate number of mouth and eyes, that grass sickle, the departed. Let us exchange vows, my dear husband. I've been hiding here, watching you. Crackling voice booms inside my head. It feels extremely uncomfortable, like a mass of dirt is being stuffed into my skull, crushing my mind. I feel like throwing up, my consciousness is fading. Tonight is no exception. I shall watch you, endure your fear, and confront Hanako. Huh? Confront Hanako? The departed has disappeared. Are you alright, Ai? Ai doesn't respond. Simply, she's staring blankly at the area where the departed was, looking like an empty husk of a person. Snap out of it! Huh? Mr. Gabu! I finally returns to her senses. It's the thing I saw just now. The departed. So that's the departed. Did you hear their voice? What voice? I didn't hear anything. I see. I heard it very clearly though. The departed was talking directly to me. What did they say? I tell I what she said. What the departed said. Exchange vows, my dear husband. Hiding here, watching. Tonight is no exception. I shall watch you enjoy your fear and confront Hanako. Oh! We're gonna confront. She's gonna... They're gonna be watching while we confront Hanako. Husband? Did they mean you? I think so. I don't know why, but the departed is obsessed with me. And they don't... They want me to confront Hanako tonight. But why? Despite it being dark, I can see I trembling somewhat. After encountering a spirit like that, anyone would be rattled. The departed, Hanako, are in the old building, right? Most likely. I'm scared. My teeth are chattering, my body's trembling. Aren't you scared, Mr. Gabu? I'm scared. Somehow that makes me feel a bit relieved. I mean, anyone would be frightened to see that. Let's get going, I... I nods at my words. Sorry about that, I was just looking for souls. From the corridor, there's a path that leads outside. Yep, yep, yep. We checked that before. I don't know how to find souls. I jiggle the handle of the door leading to the old building. Is it locked? The door swings open. <gasps> this door sh that should have been locked has been open two days in a row now. This can't be a coincidence. Someone must have unlocked it. And there's only one person I can think of who'd be responsible for that. The departed is luring their victims to the old building. Ugh. As much as the upcoming threat makes me feel weak at the knees, this is not the time to get hesitant and apprehensive. We're just going in, huh? Okay. So this is the old building. This place is so musty and muggy. Be careful, I. This place is a spirit's domain. Understood. Mr. Gabu, where should we investigate first? Hmm. I'd say somewhere with strong ties to the spirit. Aikai was bullied in the girls' restroom, right? If we put it that way. Yeah, let's explore the girls' restroom. We may be able to find Horikoshi if we track down Hanako, considering Horikoshi wants to meet her. Oh, true, I forgot about Horikoshi. Okay. Um, let's start with the ground floor. Jump scare warning! 
For players with weak hearts, beware of the jump scares in this game. Your controller will vibrate when these are triggered. If you're considering playing the game but you don't like that, you can turn those off, by the way. Uh, but I figured that they would be fine. I like it. Hmm. I wrote the word Akai on the mirror. Keeps us on our toes, you know. Let's look for spirits. Toilet is dirty. Now that I've been looking at it so closely, I have the urge to clean it. Any spirits around here? There were supposed to be eight, right? What was that? Scraping sounds coming from inside. I don't think I'm imagining things. What should we do? Eh, open it. <gasps> What's that? Hmm. Fumu fumu. A broken mop. This definitely wasn't here last night. Ugh. This mop reeks of rotten milk. Ooh. Someone must have used- Oh, that should stink. Someone must have used it to clean up and then rinse it out afterwards. Horikoshi said something about milk, right? Akai hated it, and Izumi used to force her to drink it as part of the bullying. Maybe the mop was used during one of those incidents. Do you think Akai threw up and then cleaned up the mess with the mop, maybe? Seems plausible. Even so, why is this mop here now? Izumi was killed in the restroom just last night. Is his spirit wandering and telling us to avenge him with the mop? Nah. I laugh at the ridiculous scenarios in my mind. One thing for sure, Hanako considered this mop an accursed item that may help us in the future. I prefer not to use this, but I may have to do it if I want to survive the encounter. No soul, though. A torn notebook page. Now looked into it, and it looks like we can use the piano in the old building's music room. That'll be our meeting place from tomorrow on. Now found a cassette player and we listen to the school song again. The melody's nice, but the lyrics are eh. So we both decided to make our own version. I'll compose the new melody and now we'll handle the lyrics. I got chosen to perform as the piano accompaniment for the recital. Yay! All the practice at the old building paid off. Thanks, now. First page. I hope that was everything. Looking at the content, I'm guessing this is part of Hanako Akai's diary. If that's so, the now in here must be Naomi Horikoshi. Oh. The two of them used to sneak into the music room in the old building to hang out. Does it still say the same? Shocking and such, right? Yeah. Don't play the school song, yeah. But no souls. Anything in the toilet this time? This is where Izumi's corpse is. Cuckoo. Okay, empty. Well, that was this bathroom. Should we try the third floor one? I should check the second floor one as well, just in case. My face is reflected in the dirty mirror. Instead of the mirror, the spot below the sink piques my curiosity. I spot a small object where, with mold growing on it. What an unpleasant sight. Should I bother picking this thing up? Yes. What is it? <laughs> oh. I heard us both. What was that? I feel like someone hit the mirror. And then strange voice earlier. Don't tell me. Someone on the other side of the mirror? <gasps> Is that where the bodies go? I wait for a while, keeping my guard up. However, nothing happens. I inspect the things on the sink. <gasps> Teeth! Pick it up with my hand. It's an eerie tooth. Feel an eerie chill. So we're looking for teeth. This is one of the lost soul I'm always talked about. Better keep it. Ooh. Lost souls. Collect eerie teeth and exchange them for sacred objects. Yep. Some lost souls can only be obtained at specific times. Keep an eye out for lost souls to give yourself an advantage. Okay. Good thing I picked it up, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. 
Nasty smell. Okay. Yoshi. Same. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> There's your random jump scare for you. Hmm. Scraps of shed oh shredded paper floating in the water. Must be why the toilet's clogged. Huh. It's need some kind of tool to unclog it. Maybe find something useful if I look around the restroom in the old building. Okay. Maybe we should check the the men's rooms then as well. Just in case we can find the mop or something. Uh, plunger! Perfect. Thank you. Something on top of the toilet. Dead moth. Not one, but two. Corpses lie on top of each other. Ugh, that scared me. Why are there insects here? I don't even think they were food for anything. Such mysterious deaths. I wonder if they pretend anything. I'm probably just overthinking things. One's thought tend to trend towards the macabre when pursued by a spirit. Hmm? Teeth. Yes. Nice. Soul number two, baby. Item. Plunger. I push the plunger into the toilet bowl and then pull it back with all my might. <laughs> but wouldn't that just flush the paper? Several large bubbles rush to the water surface and pop. A girling sound immediately accompanies them. Paper scraps have been successfully flushed. The soil is no longer clogged. Out of the blue, a single piece of paper floats to the top of the water. It's as if the scraps got flushed and then were reassembled in their prior form. Wow! Pinching it with my fingertips to make sure not to tear the paper. It's a torn notebook page. The ink is running, but it's still legible. Now it told me your secret. I felt my face turn red and ran away. What should I do? I still don't know how to respond. <gasps> Did they have a falling out because now I was in love with her? I don't know what to write. I'm bad with words. It's much easier to express myself with the piano. I got called over by Izumi again. Now save me though. I'm grateful for to her for that. It's been a while since we last talked. Oh, so it does continue. I hate the graffiti, I hate the milk, but what I hate the most is the Hanako of the toilet costume. They took away my uniform and forced me to wear the red skirt. They wouldn't give it back no matter how many times I begged. Izumi laughed at me. Was that so funny? I want to tell now about Izumi. And I also want to give a proper response to her feelings, but I didn't have the courage to write her a letter. Maybe I can say what I want if I meet her. So I told her I want to meet after school. Now didn't come yesterday. What happened? Hmm. Another diary page. Their relationship seemed to have changed after now reveal their secret. How can these scraps of paper be in the old building's restroom, though? They conducted an investigation right after her suicide. Logically speaking, these papers shouldn't be here. Could it be there's a non-human reason? Maybe an entity trying to show them to me? <laughs> so we got that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, is she drowning right now? Should we hurry up upstairs? What was that? Oh, <laughs> keep pressing the wrong button. An image flashed through my mind along with the sound of water bursting in a person's voice. It was Horikoshi, face, face rigid with terror. Mr. Gabu, what was that sound just now? No clue. Check upstairs. Hold on, I... Did you only hear the sound of water? What about the wailing and Horikoshi? I don't know, I only heard the water. I looks visibly confused, seems like they're being honest. Am I the only one getting these visions? I think the water sound came from the hallway. Should we check it out? Sure. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's, sure hur let's hurry and check on the sound. Wait, so this hallway? Like, which hallway are you specifically talking about? 
Not the classroom, right? Ooh, this looks cool though. Cool, cool. Okay. Still kind of disappointed. Nothing here. <laughs> Might be a teeth in here, you never know. Several old desks, full of holes, paint peeled off, nothing inside. There is water here, actually. A large puddle on the wooden floor. Find something on the water's surface. A student handbook? Konoehara Academy Insignia. Naomi Horikoshi is written on the bottom part. Item descriptions. In some cases, you may obtain crucial information from an item's description. Select item from the menu to access the content. Yeah. Damn, I am getting hurt. Ah! <laughs> Do I get a vision from the notebook? No, why? vision comes to my mind's eye. A stream of wastewater filling the room. How can there be so much water here? I wasn't here earlier. Naomi Horikoshi is struggling to keep her head above water, thrashing her arms and legs. Something is clinging to her back. You must be Hana, right? I can finally see you. I'm sorry for that time. Now. Hana. I love you. Oh. No. Yeah. Zero water starts seeping into her mouth and nose. Soon she won't be able to breathe. Despite that, her lips curve into a smile. The look on her face is so ecstatic, any observer would doubt that she's on the brink of death. Hana, do you also? But. I can't forgive traitors. Hoses and wastewater are hovering in midair, defying gravity. Same as it was when Izumi's hand was sliced off. So it happened in this classroom, but it's already gone. And then... Death. What was that vision? It was so clear as if a projector had been put inside my head. Did that happen here? Was Horikoshi attacked by Hanako? I quickly look around trying to find an answer to no avail. All that's left is this puddle. Neither Hanako nor Horikoshi are here. What's wrong, Mr. Gabu? I doesn't seem shocked in the least. Guess I'm the only one who was shown that vision. If that's the case, it must be a phenomenon caused by a spirit. But that only explains part of the mystery. Why am I the only one getting these visions? It may be related to something that I recall Yasuoka saying before. People in the Kujo family are blessed with the power to see the unseen. Due to this, members of my family are often possessed by spirits and die a violent death. The blood of the Kujo family is flowing through my veins. I cannot escape this fate even if I discarded my former name, Masamune Kujo. Ah, Gabu Gabu has a nice ring to it, don't you think? I'm guessing that the fact I saw that vision is proof enough. You sure you're okay? You're spacing out super hardcore right now. It's nothing. Best to not talk about what I saw. It's not something a living being should see. I don't need to weigh down anyone else's heart with this information. I can't let my friend be burdened by the feelings of the dead. It's best if I carry this alone. Let's continue our investigation. Okay. Maybe it's a puddle because it leaked from upstairs? We might have to check the classrooms upstairs as well. Music. Sounds like a school song. Why is a school song playing in this place? No idea. We have to find out. Hmm. 
Mm, no, 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 no. Oh, it is louder here. I was thinking of checking 3B, but now I'm not so sure. I feel like there's something here. Desk's empty. Hmm. hmm. Something gets stuck inside. Can I give it a try? I feel like I'm pretty strong. I grabs the door handle. Yeah! Screaming at the top of her lungs, Aya pulls on the door with all her might. Does it open? Oh, it doesn't budge. <laughs> you tried. Oh, oops. Maybe the door's bent shut because it's so old. Neither I nor I can open the door with brute force. Maybe a dexterous person could get it open. Interesting. Okay, so that was 3B. Gotta remember that. Oh, here's the radio. CRT television here. The screen's dark and I don't hear any sound. I doubt the school song came from here. The radio's right there. Small boom box is placed on top of the desk. Cassette tape is spinning inside. This must be what's playing the school song. Stop it! It's giving me the chills! Song ends once I hit the stop button. Silence fills the airs once again. Pretty sure that was Konoe Hara Academy's school song. You recognized it? Of course, I did a bunch of preparation for conducting this infiltration mission. I can basically sing and dance to it. That's nice, but what does this song have to do with our investigation? Hmm. Because I'm a musician, I'm just generally interested in music-related music things. How do I put it? I just prioritize what intrigued me the most. That's very you. Thank you. So what are we going to do with this boombox? Hmm, let's bring it with us. Got it. Ah, oh, maybe playing the song can help. I wonder if our doctor friend is more dexterous. I guess he is, right? What about checking out the music room in the old building? Sure, why'd you mention it now, though? Remember the notebook page? The music room was a memorable place for Akai. I think so, too. She spent her time here practicing the school song and coming up with the lyrics, along with her best friend, Horikoshi. That place might be linked to Akai. What's your call, Mr. Gabu? Makes sense to me. Guess we should check out the music room. We should, but I also should check out all the other areas. Kuku. Door's locked, no one uses this area, shoe locker is covered in dust. One of the shoe lockers is half open. Probably isn't used anymore, that kind of makes me curious. Yeah, look inside. I open the shoe locker. Bugs. Several insects come out of the locker. Can't see them very old, but their bodies are long. Centipedes? What an unpleasant jack-in-the-box. Despite my hesitation, I have to inspect further. Teeth. 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 Suddenly my finger bumps into something. A Nice. Awesome. That's number three. <laughs> Whoa! What is this? For some reason, there's a pile of desks inside the classroom. What's going on? There must be something here. Keep your guard up, Gabu. Okay, let's have a look. Yoshi. Desks are stacked up to the ceiling. I'm so scared I might pass out. Oh. Just at that moment, a breeze blows from the compartment below. A cold, musty wind. Is there something else? Yeah, do it. You really did it, just as I expected you would. Put my arm into the compartment and blindly flail about. <coughs> oh. My fingertips brush across something cold. Are you okay? Don't worry, I was just surprised. Grab the cold object. Hey, woohoo! And here I was thinking I shouldn't. 
I probably won't find anything in any of these classrooms. Cool. Oh, there's a statue there. Didn't we hide inside a cleaning cupboard when we were being chased by a spirit once? Hmm. I barely remember. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Something resembling a beast beyond the window. Looking closely at it, it looks like a fox statue. Looks like a guardian fox at an Inari shrine. Unusual to see that on a school. Yeah, there's something going on here. Gabu and the others have leveled up. Hey! Spirit increased by three. I didn't know that would happen automatically. I thought I had to go back for it. Spirits have been restored. Oh, I'm full health again. Nice. I do still want to go back though, because we have to swap out to with Daimon. So he might be the dexterous person we need. So Need lost souls to draw out the power of the sacred objects. They're usually found around places with unstable energy. Uh, let's try and trade, see what we can get. Tenro Shrine Guardian, Tula Soul, Dharma, Lucky Rabbit, Bag Enhancement. What would that do? I wonder if I can enhance the bag spiritually. I don't know if it'll be useful though. Lost souls can be used to imbue the bag with spiritual effects. It isn't that effective. It's better to prioritize using oh, on sacred objects. Okay. Favorite bag plus one. Increase Gabu's success rate during acts by 2%. Uh, let's check what each of them do. Reduce one damage from suspective, suspensive acts and events. Okay. The Daruma. Reduce one action cost during suspensive acts. That is kind of nice. Lucky rabbit. Increase success rate during suspensive acts by 10%. That's a lot. Can we only use it once though? Okay, so that used up two. So we still have three. Yeah, and there's three left to find. Um, let's do this one then. Reduce the damage taken. Okay, so we have one soul left. Thank you. So now we have to go to class 3B. Thank god I'm taking notes. Let's see if he can open the, the thing here. I assume the door's gotten crooked over time. Can I give it a try? Do it. Daimon grabs the door handle. You need to use the power of finesse for this sort of situation. Daimon grabs the handle and exerts his power at multiple angles. The door finally opens. Awesome. Just as I expected. Feel free to inspect your to your heart's content. Thanks. Nothing inside? There has to be something. Look better. Look closer. Something in the corner. Hell yeah. So I have two now? Yeah. So there's two left somewhere, right? And I think I've checked all the classrooms. I think I tied up all the loose ends in the bathrooms. So, is it time for the music room? Cuckoo. Portraits of musicians are lined up on the walls. Can't really see their faces. Spider webs are covering them. <gasps> Who's that? Cuckoo. The little man! Sitting on the piano stool. Getting hungry? Wow. That's cool. There's a young girl wearing a red dress. Cracks run across her skin like spider webs and her eyes are hollow. She's not human. She's a female doll. Hi, Bee. I've encountered a doll like this before. 
The doll had the ability to think and could even speak. Is she like that too? Well, she's playing. What is this feeling? What is this melody? Ooh, time for... Are we hearing Hanako asking for help? Another vision projected in my mind. The toilet! The toilet beep! It's a scene taking place in the toilet stall. Oof. Female student in a red skirt with suspenders is about to hang herself. She has a rubber hose wrapped around her neck as she stands on top of a bucket. Two students, the boy and the girl, are gleefully spectating! Holy shit! The boy's face seems familiar. Izumi. Wait, so it wasn't suicide, it was made to look like suicide. Put more effort into it if you want your uniform back. I'll only give it back if you can perfectly pretend to hang yourself. Desperate to not lose her balance, Hanako Akai doesn't even have the ability to answer. If she loses her footing, the hose will strangle her. And the, those two find her desperation amusing. Hey Izumi, is this really gonna be okay? You're so fucked if Horikoshi finds out. She's her best friend. Nah, don't worry. Talk to her. She won't interrupt us anymore. What? Hanako nearly trips herself. She barely manages to hold on. No shit. Whoa, aren't they like super close? Horikoshi told me herself, you know. She doesn't want anything to do with Hanako anymore. No way. No, why? Why would you believe Izumi's word though? Come on. Hanako's legs can't stop trembling. That's so hilarious. Hanako's been betrayed by the only person who ever liked her. You're cruel now. I thought you were my friend. Whoops, look at the time! Bye Hanako, we're going home. Clean up the mess for us. Jesus. Izumi and, her female, uh, and his female accomplice leave. Hanako is the only one remaining, with the hose still wrapped around her neck. Jeez, this poor girl. Everyone. Enough already. Hmm. Hanako slips off the bucket. Did she do it on purpose? After that. Inside the empty restroom in the old building, the grating sound of the hose that took her life continues to, re to reverberate. You here, Hana? Oh shit! She actually came in? This can't be. Oh, she came in just too late? Why did you... The vision of death inside my mind is gone, and the doll in red has vanished without me knowing. Was that girl the one who showed me the vision? It doesn't look like anyone's playing. Daimon is acting like usual. Guess I'm the only one who saw both the vision and the doll. Ugh. I feel sick, as if I chugged down a bunch of booze. Maybe it's because I've learned the deep despair that Hanako Akai felt. But at least now I know what her grudge was when she died. Bullied to death by Izumi and his friend. Betrayed by her best friend, Horikoshi. So she thinks. Hanako of the toilet was born from her strong resentment of them. Her spirit won't disappear so long as there is still malice within her. There must be a key linked to her grudge. One that can free her. I need to find it. Perhaps it's in the place I saw in the vision earlier. There may be something where she died. We went up there though. But I guess maybe now, knowing what we know, it could be different. It's locked. Where would those last two teeth be, though? 
It did say that some teeth only appear at certain times. So maybe now that we know more about something that happened in this bathroom. Maybe now there's more. Oh, something going on here. Oh, shit. What do you call she's waiting inside the toilet stall? She looks straight at me, eyes wide open. Just her head. That is so cool. The only thing that remains is her head. So she really was killed in that vision. Damn. Horiko, she was smiling when she passed. An ecstatic smile as if she'd been set free from her pain and suffering. I can only wonder what kind of pain she'd gone through to be so happy to die. Severed head surrounded by colorful hoses. What an odd juxtaposition. The scene is completely unlike Izumi's. His face was contorted in agony and his corpse was drenched in foul water. Perhaps Hanako is trying to make her best friend's death beautiful, like the flowers at a funeral. Hi, baby. What in the world? Screaming, Daimon grabs my shoulder. Even through my coat, I can feel the hands trembling fiercely. Daimon, let's get out of here. Sure. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I need to catch my breath. Let's get out of this place for now. Right. Daimon's about to pass out. I won't let you go. What was that voice, Gavu? Hanako is coming for us. Handle's gone. What's going on? Where's the door handle? Why is it missing? And what is filthy water on the door? No time for explanation. We just have to get out. I wedge my fingers through the door gap and try to force open the door. Can you like elbow the glass, maybe? It's not opening. The sewage water is so slick and slimy that's preventing me from opening the door. And for some reason, the door feels as cold and heavy as a solid block of ice. I won't let you go. That was out of nowhere. Chills run down my spine as I hear the sound of water splattering on the ground. Don't look back. You hear me, Daimon? Let's figure out a plan to get out of here. Hanako's presence right behind me. If we stay any longer, we'll end up dead like Izumi and Horikoshi. But how do we get out when the door handle's gone and there's filthy, filthy, slippery water everywhere? Um, the broken mop? Oh, and the plunger. Maybe combine them. Raising execution rate is critical. To help with that, you can buy sacred objects. I did! Especially important to have sacred objects if you want to succeed using a character with a low execution rate. You can obtain sacred, sacred objects for certain allies. Okay. When you fail, the execution rate of the action will increase greatly, making it easier for you to do the action. Wipe water off the door. Oh, with the mop! Oh, you can dry the door. Okay, 67%. Diamond is 95. Go for it. 95%. Why am I getting the shivers? Nice. Dry door. He wipes the water off with the mop. No matter how many times the door is wiped down, the water continues to pour over it. Oh. This is gonna continue. The water just keeps dripping down. Okay. This isn't the right choice. I was hoping to dry it up and then use something to stick in there, but... Okay. Should we try the plunger? Oh! Suck it to the door and then use it as a... Yeah! Hold the door open. Only 57% though. 
Uh, what about Daimon? 85. Yoruka. Yoruka. Mm -hmm. Blunk? Suck it at that door. The moisture should help, actually, then, right? Please don't come off. We only need to pull the door open. Hey. Diamond tries pulling the door open using the plunger. The door slams open. Looks like this is the right choice. Let's head out. Let's go! Diamond and I escaped the restroom without any trouble. Great. Thanks, Daimon. Let's go back to the infirmary. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Horikoshi. I'm sorry, Horikoshi. If only I'd managed to stop her in the storage room earlier, I might have been able to save her. Regret wells up inside me. I feel my chest tightening. But the night's not over yet. There's something I still have to do. Can you walk, Daimon? I remember how pale Daimon looked when we found Horikoshi's body. They'd be a bad choice to continue the investigation if they're at their limits. Did I worry you? I'm fine. Let's continue the investigation. Daimon. He's obviously shaken, but he's giving it his all to get through the case. I decide to believe in him. Oh, maybe his success rates were much higher because he's more dexterous. I think I would want to have Ai with me for the music section at the end. Possible music section. Uh, now let's trade. I have two, so I could get the Dharma. Reduce one action cost. Yeah, why not? So there's two souls I haven't found. I don't know what we'll check next. Honestly, not really a clue as to what we're doing. I feel sorry for what happened to Horikoshi, but this is no time to wallow in regret. We need to come up with a plan to put a stop to Hanako. Yeah, but what? Bibi lately has been like wanting to sit with me more and more. And I realized moving the cat tower downstairs, closer to the dining table, he really likes it. So then I was thinking here, I was like, Maybe he likes it here too. <laughs> it's so cute. We're matching pink, by the way. <laughs> but it's so cute to see him there. <laughs> so chill. Oh, you can still see him in the corner. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, he's settling in. He getting comfy. <laughs> Gotta go back to where we got attacked. Because now it's safe. Yeah, look! So this is where, just as in Izumi's case, all traces of Horikoshi's death have disappeared. Where did Horikoshi go? Who knows? All we can do is examine what's in front of us. A key! Ungle. Key with a tag. What's on the tag? What does it say? Old building, music storage room. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. I actually hadn't thought of just going back to where we just escaped from. I was, in my head, I was like, okay, this bathroom is now off limits, but then I, oh, right, no handle. Put my fingers through the gap in the door and force it open. It's easy since it's not slimy this time. Ah, okay. Okay, music storage room. That music room is on the ground floor, right? I almost feel like I would like a map this time around. Old music room. <laughs> Try it. Music equipment storage room. I pull out the key and insert it into the keyhole. Nice. Thank you. The door makes a mechanical sound. The sound of the key unlocking the door. Okay. What do we got? Cuckoo. Hakuda. Deteriorated cardboard box. There's a school bag inside. 
What do you call she's? She put it in there? Inside the bag is a girl's school uniform and a green ribbon, the one worn by second years. It's not Horikoshi's size, though. Try checking the pockets just to be thorough, but I don't find anything. Looks like a standard uniform. Are we taking it? It didn't say we took it. An old shelf propped against the wall. Not used anymore. There's nothing inside. Oh! There's something glowing in the gap between the shelf and the wall. Really? Can we move it? I direct my flashlight towards the gap. I can see something small there indeed. What is it? I reach out my hand and try to pick it up. Is it a tooth? The gap is too narrow for my arm to fit. I can't reach it. Oh, maybe I can reach it. Yeah. I puts her hand in the gap. Just a little bit. Ato skoshi dake. <laughs> Got it. Here you go. <laughs> I really wanted to avoid touching it with my bare hand if I could, but... Mm. So that means there's only one left to find. Only one tooth left. This looks important, Yush. so let's keep that for last. Number of yellowed music scores are stored inside the cardboard box. The scores are warped due to humidity and are full of holes. Looks horrible. What a shame. A large brass instrument, probably a tuba, on the floor. Everywhere else is dusty, but not the tuba. I wonder why. Inspected. Upon closer inspection, there are visible handprints on it. Someone must have picked this up recently. Now I'm curious. All right, I'm gonna lift this thing up. Check what's underneath I. Leave it to me! Hevo? Say, no! <laughs> the tube is heavier than I thought. I feel my back straining because I started lifting it without bracing myself. How on earth do teenagers lug this around and play it at the same time? Please don't strain yourself. Unless there's something in it that's heavy. Like a body! I dropped a tuba once I finishes taking a look. I found this underneath. Who hid this? I hands me a locked diary. I wonder what's written inside. Okay, so you can read that description of an item in the menu. Gotcha. Okay, let's read it. The diary has a combination lock. Looks like we need to enter the correct three-digit codes to unlock the light the diary. Oh, uh, I have no idea. I did write down the curtains before, but that wasn't really... For now, I have no idea, so I'm just gonna do one, two, three. The lock's still shut. Guess that's not the combination. Is there a hint somewhere? Maybe I should ask I. Okay. Lock diary with the initials NH on the cover. Oh, so it's... Other girls. I thought it was gonna be uh, Akai's one. Hmm. Storage key. Horikoshi's notebook. So this is different from the. Oh, there's no details. Oh, Hana and Nao's secret key is the promised day. The promised day. Six nineteen. That is an option, but I don't know if that's their promised day. It's when she told her. It has to be one of these dates. I told her I want to meet her after school. Seven sixteen is an option. Let's try two of those. Let's try 619 first, the day she told her that she loved her. Okay. Um, in that case, let's try 716. No. Okay, so that's not it. So the promised day is when they found the cassette player and listened to the school song and then came up with their new version. Okay. Uh, let's try it. Okay. 
Yeah? Okay. Time to open the diary and see what we can learn. The penmanship on some of the pages leaves a bit to be desired. Looks like the events of the last few months are covered here. Where should I start reading? Uh, I want to read them all. May. Let's just read the whole thing. I found a good spot. The old building's music room. It's not used anymore, but there's a piano inside. Hannah should be able to play there. This will be our meeting spot. That's very similar to the other diary. Hannah decided to enter the competition to perform the school song. I bet she found the courage to put herself up for it because she loves the piano so much. You can do it, Hannah. The school song is a nice melody, but the lyrics suck. When I mentioned it to Hannah, she said I could come up with new lyrics. I guess I'll give it a try. It can be our song. Wait, was that everything? 526? Okay. June. Hannah got chosen to be the accompanist. Congrats! Now I gotta come up with the lyrics. I keep thinking about Hannah when I'm not doing anything. Being with her is so much fun. I just feel bliss. Is it because we're friends? Maybe it's more than that. My head is filled with Hannah. Can't even think about anything else. Can't bear it any longer. I'm gonna tell her my feelings tomorrow. I hope she feels the same. I confessed to her in the music room. She was shocked, then she ran away, looking like she was about to cry. I was left all by myself. Hannah didn't come to the music room again. What if she told other people about what happened? I don't want to think about it. Looks like Izumi's been bullying Hannah since she was chosen to be the accompanist for the recital. How dare he lay a hand on her? This was unforgivable. I've warned Izumi. Despite what happened between us, I still love her. Izumi called me. He discovered my feelings for Hana after he stole her notebook. He told me not to say anything or else he'd reveal my secret to everyone. I wanted to hit him so bad, but I couldn't. Both of us are the worst. Hana is dead. She hung herself in the old building. They forced her to take off her uniform and put on some weird outfit. If only I stopped Izumi. I'm sorry, Hana. Damn. I heard the rumors about Hanako of the toilet. They say I can meet Hana if I scribble some graffiti in the old building's restroom. I want to meet Hana again, even if she's a ghost. I want her to hear the lyrics I promised her I'd write. I snuck into the old building and wrote some stuff, but Hana didn't show up. I snuck into the old building and wrote some graffiti again. Hana still didn't show up. Hana's spirit apparently keeps saying, give it back. I don't- I know what she's looking for. Maybe I can finally meet her if I give it to her. I'll go to Hana's house tomorrow and borrow it. If I do meet Hana, first of all, I want to apologize. Then I'm going to ask her to respond to my confession. What does she think of me? She probably hated me, but still, I have to know. But... Didn't... Hanako say that she didn't show up and she asked to talk to her? Way before then? A folded note is stuck between the pages. I unfolded to reveal some lyrics. The title of the song is Hanao's Song. It's a song about the future and friendship. Hanao. Oh, I get it. Okay. I'm convinced this is Horikoshi's. She went to the old building to meet Hanako. She wanted to give something to her. We know what that item is. All that's left to do is find it. Okay, maybe I should go back to the music storage room and try and get that uniform. Maybe she just wants her regular uniform back. Because, yeah, Horikoshi's bag. Didn't Horikoshi mention in her diary that Hana was looking for something? I have a feeling it's this uniform. A highly probable conclusion indeed. Horikoshi noted in the September section of her diary that she borrowed something from Akai's parents. If that something was her uniform, everything makes sense. Horikoshi must have figured out that Hana wanted her uniform back. She probably brought it with her to draw out Hanako, except she was being targeted. Horikoshi was killed before she could give the uniform back. Why did she leave it here, though? Yeah, why not have it with her in the bathroom? I wonder what Horikoshi did in the time she was out of sights, out of our sights. Horikoshi must have sneaked into the old building and entered the music equipment storage room. She probably waited there, reminiscing on her days with Hanako until nightfall. At some point during that time, she hid her diary under the tuba. I can't know for certain why she hid it. But my guess is she wanted anyone who came investigating Haruko's case to find it if she didn't make it back. Eventually, Horikoshi left the storage room. 
Considering where she left her bag with the uniform in it, she must have left it there without thinking. Perhaps she heard Hanako call her name. And when she left the storage room, she finally met the person she'd been looking for. And then Horikoshi drowned and got decapitated. Hanako's uniform. Horikoshi left this behind. This is likely the thing Hanako is searching for, which may mean carrying it could make us Hanako's target. In that case, we shouldn't pick this up without giving it some serious thought. Are we really going to bring it along? Yeah, I think I have everything I need. I just am missing one tooth, really, but I feel like I've looked everywhere else in the building. The sound of a bell suddenly echoes in my mind. Chills run down my spine. Oh, she's right there! Before I can react, the departed is standing before us. Eek! <laughs> I recoil recoils next to me. My dear husband. That unpleasant voice fills every corner of my mind, once more dragging my consciousness into a dismal, suffocating swamp. Hanako's grudge killed model. You are next. She is already here. Should you survive, you will become my real husband. I try and listen to what they say while suppressing my chills and nausea. Hanako's grudge killed model. You are next. She's already here. Should you survive, you become a real husband. I'm not sure I'm ready for marriage. The departed's presence abruptly vanishes. Squelch, squelchy. Eye turns to me. Their entire body tends as a bowstring. I'll never get used to that no matter how many times I see them. Whenever they look at me, I feel cold, and my legs just start shaking. You're right. Did the departed have something to say? Yeah. I tell Ai what the departed said. You are next. She is already here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Hanako is here? Ai glances at the entrance. It's, it's okay, I have a strat. You're gonna sing. <laughs> Their face contorts into an expression of shock and fear. We're both thinking the same thing. Does that mean we're trapped here? Our time is running out. What should we do to survive? Mm -hmm. Horiko was Horikoshi was murdered by Hanako, just as the notice said. Maybe the only way to close this case is to face Hanako myself. I need to find out what she meant by give it back. My foe is a spirit, so she'll try to kill me. Is there any way to fight her? Maybe using something she hated in her previous life. What is the key to saving Hanako's soul? There seems to have been a misunderstanding between Hanako and Horikoshi. What can I do to clear that up in a way that Hanako would definitely understand? I'll have to put the departed to the side for now and focus on Hanako. I'm not sure if I should give the uniform first and then... I think the song first to like kind of calm her down and then show the uniform. Because I think... Oh, is this where the confrontation is going to happen? Because she wants something back, so it must be the outfit. The eerie sound of water is echoing after us. Do you think that sound just now is... Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Here we go! <gasps> the ceiling! Up above! Cool. No way. Ooh, that is so cool. <gasps> Holy shit. Let's get out of here. Guess we got no choice. Cool. Whoa, what's on our face? The Hanako I see before me is a spirit that kills people. My instinct and common sense tell me we need to run as far away from her as possible immediately. However, I didn't come to this school just to run. I need to stand and confront Hanako so I can start to get to the bottom of this case. Give back uniform, she says it. Hanako fires something at incredible speed that grazes my torso. Damn! What was that? 
Touch my torso and find a part of my coat is now torn and wet. Was that thing just now water? Yeah, but it's not your everyday water. At this speed, it's as sharp as a blade. If she's seriously attacking us, we got no choice, chance of getting away. Damage from spirits. Spirits will attack you from time to time and cause spirit damage. Level up, increase your spirit, and buy sacred objects. Prepare yourself. You can obtain sacred objects from certain allies at the infirmary in exchange for lost souls. That's what I did. Okay. I have a plan. Let's try it. I'm gonna start with the music. Have I sing the lyrics. Hanako is directing her anger at us. And then we'll try sing the lyrics. Let's see if that works to calm her down a little bit. I sings Horikoshi's promised lyrics to Hanako. Oh, promised lyrics, the promised day. Uh, I'm really not good at acapella though. Okay, she doesn't like it. Hanako's water blade grazes ice torso. She's too angry to grasp lyrics, okay. Okay, so that didn't work. Too angry. Um, I guess we could show her the uniform, but I don't know. Unfold it. Maybe if we show her the uniform? Let's try yes. that first. Hanako is looking for a uniform. What if we use her precious uniform as a shield? Ah, hold it in front of us. Let's hope it works. She doesn't like it. Hanako's water blade grazes my torso. Our plan fails, we didn't prevent her attack. She didn't even see it. Well, if she won't listen, showing it doesn't really do anything, right? Throwing it at her, I don't know. Take a battle stance, mop the floor! <laughs> I guess I'll try throwing it at her, but... The uniform eventually falls on the floor. Lost the uniform. That's my uniform. Ah, so that is... So now she's looking down. Hanako takes a few steps closer to check whether or not it's her uniform. It really is my uniform. She stares at her uniform on the floor. You stole it? No, we didn't! Hmm. So act one, throw the uniform her way. Kind of things is she milk throw milk at her. Um. Oh, the mop. The mop smells of milk. Yes. I guess we'll just try it. I thrust it towards Hanako's face. Failure. My aim is way off. Let's try again. Hopefully now it works. 93% has to work now. If this fails again... Okay. <laughs> then my odds were so bad. Take a step, step forward and extend my arm as far as I can. The tip of the mop touches Hanako's face. She doesn't respond at all. Did I miss? I hate milk. Hanako looks pained from the smell of milk coming from the mop. She used to hate milk, and it looks like that deep-rooted trauma still exists. Looks like this is the right choice. Huh. Her bloodlust instantly disappears. Oh. Help me now. This is it. Ooh. Hi. 
Hanako staggers to her side, begging for help. No, where are you? I'm lonely here. Did she say she's lonely? You killed Horikoshi. I killed now? No way, no way. I didn't kill her. Impossible. Looks like Hanako doesn't even remember killing Horikoshi. Okay, we got her calmed down. Now let's sing the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Luckily for us, there's a piano here. I should be able to pull this off with Ai's help. Okay. Sing together. 89. Show it. 99. I think we should sing it, but... I ask Ai to play the piano while I sing the lyrics. Oh. Oh, okay, hopefully this is the right one. I starts playing the school song we heard on the radio cassette player. It's all going to be fine. I kind of remember how the melody goes, so I should be able to sing it. The most crucial part is figuring out when I should start singing. Check the lyrics one last time while waiting for the right timing. With the melody playing in the background, I start to sing along. These lyrics are filled with Horikoshi's pure feelings for Hanako. I can feel them too. That's not platonic, dude. That song, is it you now? Hanako is listening. Horikoshi kept her promise. You're not alone. What's gonna happen? I sing the song until the end, and Hanako listens until the very last note. Looks like this was the right choice. Thank you now for keeping our promise. I truly appreciate it. Hey, I think that was a good one. So I think you can either banish the ghost or help them move on. Hanako's presence is gone. Looks like it's over. Seems so. Horikoshi turned her back on Hanako in a moment of cowardice. It was a moment that Hanako was unable to forgive. However, that didn't break their bonds. In the end, Horikoshi's melody proved to be Hanako's salvation. It's that fucking Izumi, man. He like blackmailed. Horikoshi. Horikoshi? What is this feeling? Someone's watching me. Who? Your wife! <laughs> it is I, future husband. What was that? I feel like I glimpsed Hanako for a moment. But there's no way. She should have passed on. Did you see that eye? See what? I didn't see anything. Was it only my imagination, or was it something that only I could see? Never mind. I hope I did the right thing. Let's just assume I was imagining things. We definitely pacified Hanako's, Hanako's spirit. She should have reached salvation. Let's get going. We've gotta let Daimon and Moya know. Yeah. There's something on the floor. Looks like a page from a notebook. Dear now. I'm sorry for running away the other day. I was so surprised when you confessed to me. I'm sorry for the late response. I've been thinking about it ever since the day you confessed. I didn't know what to say. I knew I had to give you a sincere answer since your feelings for me are also genuine. And well, I finally found, finally found my answer. Uh-huh. Uh. I love now. I don't think if the love I feel is the same I don't know if the love I feel is the same as yours, so I want to confirm it with you. It'd be great if it was the same. I hope our relationship will last forever, my dear Nao. Hmm. This is the draft of the letter Hanako Akai was writing to Naomi Horikoshi. Or, <laughs> I keep misreading it, I think. She probably hasn't been, hadn't been able to finish it. 
If only she could have conveyed these feelings of hers. Their fate could have been different. But in that case, there may be something more we can do for Hanako. In the place we last, last saw her, I think we can help Hanako deliver her feelings. Ooh. Horikoshi, oh it is Horikoshi. Oh, you settled back down? Did it stretch you? <laughs> Horikoshi's feelings should have reached Hanako through the song. However, the bullying ruined everything before they could communicate. Thinking she'd been abandoned by her best friend, Hanako's feelings turned into hatred and she killed Horikoshi. At least she died with a smile. As much as I want to believe I saved Hanako, there's some lingering anxiety. Anxiety. Why did she appear briefly after our showdown? In the notebook page she left behind, there was a reply to Horikoshi's confession. I wish there was something I could do to deliver the deliver it to the now deceased Horikoshi. Okay, so we have to go upstairs, where she died. Maybe it's to prevent her from becoming a haunting too. Naomi Horikoshi's head was here. We may be able we may be able to convey Hanako's feelings to her here since this is where we saw her last. I take out the letter and then I read Hanako's reply al aloud. I'm well aware this is likely nothing more than a self-serving act to tie up loose ends in my mind, but still, I don't want to lose my respect and compassion for the dead. Hanako and Horikoshi deserve this much. Hope it reaches Horikoshi. Let's believe they will. But we don't see anything. The sound of a bell echoes in my ears. I quickly spin to face Ai. Huh? What happened? Ai looks at me with concern. Seems like the sound was only meant for my ears. I wait for a while, still on guard, yet nothing strange occurs. What on earth was that about? Okay, so the game at least recognizes that I did something. I'll check the hallway before I quick return. Yeah, nothing. I hope that helped. And with this, our investigation into Hanako comes to an end. Time to tell the other two what happened. Lost souls available in one chapter can only be found in that chapter and not other chapters. Check the number of lost souls in each chapter using sacred objects lost souls in the infirmary. Yeah. Number of lost souls you have, number of lost souls left in the chapter one. I think that's fine. We did pretty good. Let's talk to everyone. I reveal what happened with Hanako to Daimon and Moe. Oh, in the end we couldn't protect Horikoshi. I understand your feelings, but don't be too upset about it, okay? Saving someone is no easy task. Me and my fellow doctors have a lot of similar regrets. Diamond. There's something I always tell myself whenever something like this happens. You might have failed this time, but you're still needed. Your next patient will survive. In the end, we're just feeble humans. That is the only way we can push forward with our lives. Diamond fixes his eyes on me, looking mournful. He must have witnessed an enormous number of lives saved, but also witnessed countless deaths. There's no doubt he's gone, he's gone through many more traumatic situations than I have. Do I really have the strength and resilience to match his? <laughs> Oops, that's my phone. I'll be answering this. I leaves the infirmary. Hey, mister. Even though Hanako has disappeared, this case is still far from over, yes? True, because we still have the departed. They said, if you survive, you will become my real husband. They seem to be testing me with their notices. Oh, a dangerous spirit has a crush on you. Do you think they'll give up if you refuse to deal with them? That's a disaster in the making. The departed's obsessed with Gabu, so if he chooses to ignore them, who knows what a jilted spirit would do? They may take even more drastic measures to get his attention. Right. So then, all we can do is find the departed that's lurking in this school? Yep, 
It seems our only option is to proceed with the investigation so we don't end up provoking them. I mean, they're trying to show off by hiding in the school. They want to be found. Maybe they want their dear husband to find them. How are we supposed to look for them, though? Hmm. Anyone suspicious? You think we can find them among the students and teachers? That's a lot of people. We have no way to find the departed. Hmm, we're still lacking information. We have no choice but to deal with their notices until we gather more clues about their identity. It's frustrating indeed. I wonder what happened to Ai. She's been gone a long time. Oh no. Ahem, <clears throat> be a little more positive. You may be overreacting. Though I won't deny there's a possibility that something is wrong. Let's look for her. Daimon and I search around the special and new buildings, but come up empty. Daimon also tries calling Ai with his phone, but she doesn't pick up. What? Where did she go? There's only the old building left to search, but she can't be there, right? I mean, she has to be then if she's nowhere else to be found. the bell again my dear husband the departed's voice this bride of yours shall soon eat Hanako's soul is one that has achieved complete salvation I shall hope it will taste good this bride of yours shall soon eat Hanako's soul is one that has achieved complete salvation Hmm. Should her soul taste awful, I shall eat the scapegoat's soul instead. Oh! That scapegoat is I? Idol. Yeah, it's I. So wait, does that mean that if you don't deal with Hanako properly, then... One of your teammates can get hurt. Come to me, your dear bride. Mm -hmm. I hear a sound of a door opening from the girl's restroom. Why did you stop all of a sudden? The voice. I heard the departed's voice. This is the little ball. I tell Daimon what the departed said. What in the world? Kashiwagi's been captured? We still don't know for sure yet. They mentioned something about Hanako's soul having achieved complete salvation. So clearly what they desire is a soul that has attained full salvation. Ice life will be spared if they can get that. What exactly is full salvation though? And why are they targeting Kashiwagi? Why would a spirit devour another spirit? Why? It doesn't seem like the departed is made out of made up out of ten many different people. I can only remain silent. I have no idea what the spirit like this is thinking. I don't have time to ruminate anyway. We need to hurry and find I. On the other side of this door the departed awaits. Well I did just save, didn't I? So let's try it. I hear a sound coming from the back of the restroom. It's pitch black. The noise is vivid, discomforting, and unpleasant. It sounds like someone is eating something. In the back. There's something in the back. I point my flashlight toward the back of the room. The light reflects off of something in the darkness. Whoa! So she is eating Hanako. A gruesome scene that transcends human comprehension. A spirit is devouring another spirit. Poor Hanako, I thought we helped her. The departed is eating Hanako. The departed cuts Hanako's body with an old sickle. They bring the piece of meat to one of their numerous mouths and munch on it. Oh yeah, the hand is up, then the torso is being eaten somewhere else. They tear Hanako open over and over again. Munch, munch, munch. The departed lets out a laugh. 
Not even trying to attack us, they continue to cut and chew on Hanako's meat. They're flaunting their repulsive action. Daimon is utterly speechless, as am I. My mouth refuses to open. It's a struggle to even breathe. Hanako was pure and delicious. I will save my next meal for another night, since I am now full. I must eat a lot, so I can become beautiful and be loved. Oh, that's like hair wrapped around her body. Hanako's soul was delicious. Does that mean the departed got to eat a soul with full salvation as they wanted? Both the departed and Hanako are swallowed into the darkness and disappear. Don't tell me. Yeah, it was the departed. Wait, is I in the back? Oh, piano. The sound of the piano. The music room. Kashiwagi. Okay, let's go look. back here when we enter the pitch black room we can tell there's someone standing in the darkness it's I she's simply gazing into the empty void her mind is obviously somewhere else I get a hold of Shikarishiro <laughs> ah, Mr. Gabu Gabu-sama I has come back to her senses are you alright? are you hurt? I'm okay She's showing signs of cyanosis, but nothing too serious. What happened? I know I have no idea. I stepped out of the infirmary to answer the call, but they immediately hung up. I was about to go back in when I saw someone. The departed? No. They look like a human to me. What? I recall what Izumi said last night. The departed is pretending to be human. So they really are hiding in the school. Who was it? It's, uh... I remain silent, her gaze fixed on the ceiling. She must be digging through her memory. I can't remember. I can't even recall anything about their face or clothes. Feels like something is clouding my mind. I'm sorry. You can't even tell us if they're a girl or a boy? Yeah. When I tried to approach them, everything just went dark. And I can't remember a thing after that. I don't even know how I got here. Okay. As much as I want to find out who the departed is, it seems that things are not progressing as smoothly as I thought. Can't even really blame Ai. For now, I'm just glad she's safe and sound. Hey, Gabu. Kashiwagi's safe. That means the departed's desire to consume a soul that achieved full salvation has been granted. Yeah, true. Doesn't mean Hanako is, like, beyond our reach now, though? She went to hell or something? I wonder exactly what that means. Who knows? The Departed only told us the result without providing any further explanation. Although, we have a clue. When we read that draft in the girl's restroom, I heard the bell ring inside my head. This is just a hunch, but maybe that was the indication that we'd guided Hanako to full salvation. <laughs> there isn't anything else we can do here at the moment. Closing the door behind me, I leave the school with the mark bearers. Poor Hanako, though. I'll inform Mr. Konoe about Horikoshi. He's close with the cops in the city. I'm sure he'll do something about it. Still don't trust him, the headmaster. The headmaster here sure is something else, huh? He seems like someone from the underworld. Why are you saying that? He's a dependable fellow, though. Without him, we would have been questioned by the cops. You think they'd accept an explanation that involves spirits? We'd just be rotting in jail. Especially considering that someone's literally dead. I'm sorry, Horikoshi. Hey, there's something I'm curious about. You think they targeted Aya to jealousy? Jealousy? They did say they wanted to become pretty, right? Doesn't the departed think of you as their husband? Wouldn't that make Aya a formidable rival? She's an idol, after all. Maybe that's why the departed targeted her. Given their unusual obsession with me, I can't deny that. But there's something we can use to confirm... There's nothing we can use to confirm or deny the speculation. We're dealing with a spirit here, and a very unusual one at that. 
Say, Mr. Gabu, do you plan to keep chasing after the departed? Um, I don't have much choice. That does make sense. I mean, they've obviously set their sights on you. But this is strange. Why you? There's a lot of men out there. I have no idea either. There's gotta be some kind of reason for their obsession. I'm thinking that might be our best lead to identifying who the departed is. There is that doll we saw at the piano and the first death mark was all about the doll. The departed's true identity. This case will never end unless I figure that out. My gut's telling me that that's what the departed wants as well. Hey, chapter two, end. This was a long one. This was much longer than I thought, but I'm, I'm happy to do it a chapter at a time. Items I acquired during the chapter. Other than some special items and sacred objects, all items you acquire will disappear at the end of the chapter. Oh, so I keep the sacred objects. That's great. Yes, please. Oh, you're tired of sitting here. You want to go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost done, beep. Actually, yeah, I'll just stop it here since I now literally saved. Um, so we'll continue three days later very soon. I will keep going one chapter at a time. I looked at another playthrough I found on YouTube of someone playing through the chapters and they're a little bit varied. Like this one was pretty long. It took me really long. I think it took me three and a half hours for this chapter. So yeah, that's about what I expected. But I know the longest one are four hours and then the shortest ones are like an hour and a half. They're more like in between chapters, I think. Um, so I'll just keep going a chapter at a time, nice and organized. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with chapter three.